Monday, Monday, Monday. Back from Portland. I You're love back Mondays. From Houston. I'm back from. I was all over Texas, bro. I'm wearing Texas tuxedo right now, as the kids call it. What does that mean? Denim on denim. Texas tuxedo. <laughs> I didn't know that's what it was called. Yeah, well, I wore it for a reason to throw. To okay, because you didn't like, throw a me tribute right to now. them. Like, look, if this is Texas, I'm like this. Yeah, yeah. Like, they look at me. They go, that's fancy. So if there's a horse saddled up, I geared mean, up, oh. you just jump right on with no problem. Yeah, I want to tell you this on air because I don't know if you know this or not, but I shot some guns with my boys out there. Well, you know, I saw I some video. I a sniper, but they asked if I'd be... This is awkward. They asked me... Who, who is they? Matt Best, who is a Special Forces guy, yeah. and the rest of the back rifle coffee badasses. They yeah. said, do you think you could go over to Iraq and take care of a few things? Now, hold on, Brennan. I just have a little trouble believing you. What, what were the few, couple things? Like, what... Okay, so you're being general right now. I'll say this. It yeah. runs with bark water. That sounds really close to black water. You said it, not me. Or maybe it's dark hatter. I don't know, but either way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good with puzzles. Either. Apparently not good bark. at rhyming either. What would you say? Bark water. <laughs> bark water was black water. Oh, Jesus, that was terrible. It's so bad. Hey, I, I, like, did, dark. I did shoot a bunch of crazy guns um i saw you what was your favorite what was your what was the gun that you felt you were the best uh shot at uh i'd say none of the above i'm not comfortable with guns but uh matt best for when he was killing bad guys he put together the exact same gun that he would burst into doors i kicked down doors with and has like this fucking laser on it this green i think it was an m4 i saw you shoot fucking sick yeah it's an m4 with not much recoil right oh it feels like a video game yeah yeah, and then some of them I'd go to big guns that had like crazy kickback. I'm like, yeah. Jesus Christ! Yeah, that, and they that would tell that, me that they, pistol you were shooting. That pistol was a 50 caliber. They had an even bigger one, but the range wouldn't let us fire it. And uh, Matt can hold it with one hand and do it. And he's like, "Here, try it, man." He goes, "But you know, stay on it, man, because it fires up." He, and he, they show me videos of girls and like smaller guys Hitting. going. Goosh, yeah. laughing themselves out. I was yeah. laughing so hard. Yeah. So that's why I was kind of nervous to do it. I'm nervous around guns. I'm, it's just not my language. You should be nervous It'd be around like guns. if they came to the jiu-jitsu mat, they'd be a little bit like... Little, you should be nervous yeah. around guns. When you're in that range and you feel the force and the power and the, the sound shit. and you smell the smoke, it's it's... We know what happens to me when I'm in a firing range. My back seizes up. My lower back just goes... Tits. Like it's exhausting. Yeah, I get a so I'm afraid the whole time. I, I'm just not familiar with it. And then... I'd fire something. I go, God, I can't. Like I fired that big fifty cal or his gun. I, I went, God, I can't believe people fucking get hit with these things. I Oof. can't imagine what it feel like. And Matt goes, Oh, you wouldn't have to. It would just blow up that gun. That fifty cal would blow yeah. a hole straight through it. What? He goes, Oh yeah. And if you know, you go up to a bear and shoot a fucking that M four you were shooting, which is a modified M sixteen. It's a shorter barrel. Yeah. That bullet travels so fast that when it hits you, it's it it does leave a big hole in the other side, and it's awful. I like the jargon they're talking about too. Like they'd go back and forth, like oh, you were using a fifty cal with the fifteen AR, and I was like this, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. like you're in the middle of a fucking offense coordinator and a defense coordinator talking. I was yep. like, what the fuck is happening right now? It's their language. The only time I shot guns, like click on that one where I'm holding up those big big guns. Yeah, that's Matt's. The one I'm talking about is Matt's gun on the left. That looks like a modified. He's, it's custom made that he A4. used when he was. I don't know. They're, those are AR 15s. Those are assault rifles for sure, but I wonder. I don't know. Hey, look at these guns. morons that go finger off the trigger until you're ready to fire. Jeez, I'm there with special forces guys. You think they'd let me put my gun on the trigger? I'm like this. Yeah, this guy's not there. Oh, when I took the picture, like, no, 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 hold on. And they're like, you're, uh, we don't want you to get critique because our fans are going to see this too. You need. And, so it, might, it looks like I'm like this, but if you look close, if you zoom in on that, Jim, yeah, it's not I'm like there. this. So you're not touching that. No, oh, what? there we go. Yeah, hey, there, you fucks. I'm there with look at the picture better. monsters, man. They're not going to let me get away with that. Keep your finger off the trigger. There's a zoom whole language. Zoom in, bitch. When I shot, I shot guns every day for 12 days straight or something when my dad took me Too much. fishing in Alaska. But after like 12 days shooting guns, I was shooting. My friend, this guy we met had an arsenal. He lived on, on, the, on the sea on, in an inlet, like in a houseboat, basically. Literally a houseboat. Sounds a little crazy. And he had a, oh yeah, oh yeah. And he had a fucking arsenal and target set up. And then you throw shit in the water and just shoot whatever. 
And it gets after a while, you're just like after a while, like, mm, but God, then my God. dad had a some. It's called I think it's a three seventy Winchester. It's a it's to kill elk, and frankly, you could probably drop an elephant. Yeah, it hit it kicks so hard, and the guy was like, "Keep your mouth open." I was like, "What?" He goes, "Keep your mouth open, other your ears, otherwise your ears will, you know." And I was like, "Oh, but even outside when I shoot it, I was next to it when my dad shot the shot it. It kicks so bad." That the scope hit him in the eye, and he had a fucking really? round. Yeah, he walked around with a round. Dude, that's cut. the other thing. How loud are? It was dumb. so loud. It was so loud outside that I ran away. I was like, "Dude, oh, it hurt my face." They're so loud. Like we had, I had on these ear things where you can hear it. You know all that yeah. stuff. But if you don't have those on, you'd be fucked. So I was asking in front of all those guys who were like hanging around after, and we still had our ear things on because someone was firing. And I go, "Dude, when we're at like war, you're doing operations." How do you guys' ears not blow out? And you would have thought I just told the funniest dick joke of all time because those hard, good old boys were going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right. Yeah. But you see, they show me the, the exact ones from the military, like these little headsets with the voice things. Yeah. In. And he goes, you have operator, uh, the voice airplane operator up here. Then you have your ground control here. He goes, you got to listen to both, going through both. It's like, fuck. Yeah. He goes, while you're moving. Jesus. Like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's no joke. Rogan had, we went deer hunting in Alaska and he had, he unzips, of course. I just use the rifle that whoever gives me, yeah. you know. Of course, somebody made him or maybe he had this insane rifle made. I, I, you know my joke. It's like made yeah. of ivory and dinosaur yeah. skin and the whole fucking thing. And it was, um, it, the, the, the guy said, well, you got to stay over here because if you stay, I think, in front of the, the chamber, you can go deaf. Because even I'm outside, out. you I'm can out. go d- d- death. So I was behind him. And by the way, the trigger, I shot it. The trigger is so sensitive that you could blow on it. <laughs> Not that safe. And it was so fucking loud. It was, it's like, guys, can you, I know you made this handmade gun. Can you, would it kill you to do something about the noise? It's gas escaping. You know how that's how a silencer works, apparently? Oh, really? Yeah, where it's a, it's like a muffler. Have you ever heard one? They're not that silent. They're not that silent. You know in the movie, it's all... Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. A twenty-two, you can make really quiet. They're not that quiet, no. though. No. Like the movies, no. where they just... Like a forty-five. Yeah. It's, goosh, <laughs> it makes... It's loud. It's not... But it's loud, loud enough, so you wouldn't really know what it was. Like, let's hear it. Let's You'd hear still it. turn your fucking head like crazy. Watch the, the twenty-two. Well, hey, y'all, I'm out here at the ranch. Well, hey, y'all. Now, this little sparrow from Silencer Company or... Just fire the goddamn gun. And so this is a... It's Boy, he's going balls deep in that gun. Now, why did I suppress <laughs> get another one? Hey, man, shoot the gun. Okay. By the way. Let's go ahead and take this off. That's fucking quiet. It's a little bit Pretty quiet. No, that sounds like... <laughs> when I take it, that's what I use when I fucking... Me too, bro. I put that in my back pocket. That's a lot of different. Let's just one more time. See what our thoughts are. Re- just one more time. Get you all's thoughts so on this. Put in your earwear over glasses, then you have a little bit of leakage there. So you've got a crack. That's help. So it literally. definitely helps. With a definitely helps. When it's time to assassinate somebody. That's what you need to use, man. One trigger. Yeah, guns are fucking... They're scary. Some powerful shit. Yeah. You can kill from a distance. That's what they say that human beings, once they learn how to kill from a distance, it was like just being able to it throw. Yeah. And then, then creating weaponry that, you, that allowed you to kill somebody hurl an object at somebody from a distance and of course matt was like you had fun man matt best there who runs i'm like oh it's cool man he goes yeah oh dude before your coffee launches why don't we come out here go in texas i know this landowner with a helicopter we'll let you drive the helicopter we'll teach you really you know how those guys are he goes we'll teach you really fast you drive the helicopter and then we'll hang out the back and just shoot hogs i think it's called I went, fly the oh, helicopter wow cool man yeah let's do that <laughs> yeah i'll fly the chopper i went but with all the pedals they, and they asked me i went but i'm I've never flown a helicopter before. And he goes, easy, man. I'm doing oh, that. okay. I went, how about you, well, you guys, guys fl- gun down? Went, how about you guys fly? And then I like hang out in the back and watch. God damn, man. Those boys I would like to shoot pigs from a helicopter. That's what they want to do. Because they're, they're a nuisance. I Let's know. just see. They showed me a video and it was disturbing. But then they told me how bad the hogs are. They're so. a major pest. Yeah, the farmers yeah. will pay you to go out there. Yeah. Now, let's see. You got to. I mean, because they do some, they cause some problems. Yeah, you're seeing this that one. That thing's fast. This is him just flying around. Yeah, 
let's let's look at the first one. You imagine me in a chopper? Yeah. Come on, do it! Yes. Low. Oh, oh shit. That's a big fucking boar that oh. just ate a dirt nap. Damn. Tell me that. Matt was saying he shoot like they'll eat like six bullets and keep coming. Yeah. Really? He said they're tough as nails. Yeah, a, a, a wild boar. Now that's a group of them. It's kind of sad too. Yeah, you right. Know, it's tough to see. They're delicious. I would eat them. That's the difference. Mm-hmm. I'll eat the shit out of a pig all it's day long. It's tough to see though. Yeah. Yeah. They're all together too. Because they don't get it. They're like, "What the fuck? Run, yeah. man!" But they they breed. They multiply. Like it's some insane. The little baby ones too. That's oh. tough. For they're me to fast see. as shit, though, dude. Yeah, but they're murking them down. Yeah, that's a hard. That's a hard one. To, look at how he's weaving in and out. Yeah. Oh damn, goes. that's a good shot. Holy shit! Wow. Well, there it is. Hogopolix. Hogopolix. Oh, you got this. Opalix. Hog Olympics? No, it was like this. Ted Nugent did this show. Where oh. it was like, Apocalypse. He's like, it should be Apocalypse. illegal not to do this. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to that show? I remember that. He'd do like crazy shit. Yeah, he had a hunting show. I don't know. Didn't, I mean, I think... um, and then what's it? Uh, Henry Rollins had a similar show. Well, Ted Nugent has a huge ra- ranch. Oh, he's a huge Where he hunts yeah. you know, his own meat. All. Yeah, I think that's fine. Around, yeah. I would love to eat like my own meat, go out and shoot my own Dude, food. I could live in Texas. Hell yes, I could live in Austin. I yeah on I, Aubrey's compound. Yeah, I was. Uh, I stayed at the coolest hotel I've ever been in, San Antonio. Really, the best in hotel. San Antonio. Oh, dude, it is it on the waterfront? Is on the on the river? Close. Used to be an old brewery. Really? Because I've not stayed at good the hotels. Best. The best. Could it be hotter? By the way, in Texas, could it be hotter? Houston was a little sticky. Yeah, used to melt your shoes. So where were you? Hotel Here? Emma. Let me see this thing. The boys at Black Rifle put me up there. Wow. Damn. I've never seen anything like it. Wow. Ever. That's really cool. That, Is look, that at that new, li- look at that, that library. That must be a new hotel. No, it's old. It's old as fuck. Did you sip, they revamped. Did you sip coffee or brandy like a gentleman? I sipped coffee. <laughs> yeah. I sipped coffee. Ate well. Damn well. You did? Yes. Uh, at, at that hotel? Oh, yeah. That's, I, only, I only ate at the hotel. so nice. Wow. Hotel Emma. I'm, that's where I'll stay when I go to San Antonio. Have you done stand-up San Antonio? Sure have. Really? What, LOL. What, what, LOL? It's a large club. Is it a large club? Yeah. Really? Very big club. Oh, fuck. I was I'll hit go back by locusts. Sure. Um, locusts got into the, uh, into the fucking... Club? Yeah. Yes, sir. And I was hit in my face and then in my leg by... While you're performing? By a number of locusts. Yes. How long ago is that? Well, see, Brennan, in certain times in San Antonio, like in August, the locusts, the biblical locusts come down to cleanse, you know, Texas of its sins. And, that makes uh, sense. And you see locusts uh, everywhere. I told you when I, I was in San Antonio and it was August, I, I, I went, I was going to walk to the Starbucks and the woman said, where are you going? I said, walk to the Starbucks. She goes, no, you're not. I said, it's only about a quarter mile away. She goes, I know, you're not. And what? I went out, I got about 800 yards, and I pride myself on dealing with the, with the heat. Terrible in the cold, complete pussy, long neck, can't handle it. Yeah. Heat, I'll take it all. Yeah. And I turned back around and uh, ran back inside. This camel went I, back inside. I, I, I panicked. This old camel said, not today. And, mm, camel, because remember, I lived in Saudi Arabia, yeah, the I Philippines, know. I was yeah. born there. I got- You're a traveling look camel. Look at that, look at, the, look at the locusts. Can you eat them? You <laughs> can eat them. Cover them in chocolate. Dry them out. Mm-mm-mm. They get big. Yeah, they get um, big. Yeah, Houston was so hot, we'd walk across to that Galleria Mall, and we would scurry. And I saw some boys playing basketball outdoors in the middle of the day. I'm like, what the fuck? Oof. Uh, you get used to it. No, I don't know. I don't know. You know, Iraq, for a lot of those soldiers, they'd be in... They'd be, have their vest on. Oh, they'd have all their imagine? gear on and their helmet. Oh, and by the way, get into a Hummer. Oh, yeah. And... uh there's no air conditioning, of course. Enjoy that. It's no joke. Nightmare. Mm. Yeah, the heat. I look good though when I'm. When Chin, I'm wet. you do well in the heat. No, I hate. You're the from heat. Texas, bro. That's what I hated about Texas. Everything else, I loved. You miss it, huh? Well, I didn't I know do. you were from Texas. Well, well sort of from. We're, Texas. we're in Texas. Are you like from? you from the Philippines? <laughs> oh. Well, you guys won't know it. So Temple and Colleen area. It's probably an hour from Austin or Dallas. Yeah, North that's or like south. the closest. I don't know. Uh, probably south. Okay. Now you yeah. could live in Austin when you say Texas. Um, no, Houston, I, you enjoyed the shopping in Houston. 
Oh, man, a lot besides, of money. Besides LA and New York, Houston's right up well, there. Well, remember, there's a lot of money. I always forget that Dallas and Houston has a shitload of money. Stupid money. Went to a wine shop, just like a regular wine shop, and I was looking at wines, and their wines that were like three, four, five hundred dollars. And I was like, who the fuck can afford this? Oh, it's oil money. Oil boys. Yeah. Good old boys. Yeah. I could live there for sure. The amount of land you can get, there's good food. The yeah. people are cool. Yeah, I like the people. I, dude, it, w- there's more guns than fucking who knows how many guns are in Texas. Oh, yeah. I feel safer there than anywhere. That's right. Mm-hmm. Because if a spree shooter opens up. Good luck with my dudes. boy fucking <laughs> Earl over there with his goddamn six shooter in his pocket. It's happened. There are a lot of examples of a guy came into a coffee shop, tried to shoot it up in Texas. Not up he in got hand. dropped. Then there was a guy, was a, there was a county fair, and these two dudes, three dudes got out of their cars to shoot it up. Not and they were, I think they were uh, affiliated with ISIS. They got dropped. Yeah. Texans are like, what? They're, but they're, they're also, no one's in a rush either. Like when I drive in LA or wherever the hell I'm at, Florida, if I'm a rental car, I'm going about 85, 90 down the, down the freeways. Yeah. In Texas, you can't because everybody, nice and easy. There's yeah. no rush, baby. That's right. This is Lord's, Lord's land. It's almost its own country. There's always been really there's always been quiet movements for Texas to kind of secede from the union. You know, California. I forget when the vote is, but they're breaking up in a Northern Cal, California, Southern Cal. Well, there's Northern a, there's Cal a, is all for it because there's so much money. They're like, we're sick of you guys feeding off the tea. Yeah, well, we're there's go do our own. There's thing. a there's a Republican and they'd be like the fourth like, most successful economy in the world That's if they right. do that. That's true. how crazy is that? Yeah, all the Silicon Although Valley. Los Angeles is very important city now too but yeah not compared to them boys well that's there's some them nerds money. them nerds them nerdy nerds nerdy nerds and nerdy nerds uh, you know jay the penny pincher yeah he uh i said hey uh, they booked me at hotel i'm just get a hotel there jay booked a hotel for 79 dollars and said good reviews <laughs> $79. Plans and goes, I can't stay here. No. You know it's bad. Jay's staying some shit. Jay's sleep on the studio floor. He live on Snickers bars. He wants bars. to save money. Yep. And he goes, I can't stay here. I said, I'll get you an Uber. We'll figure it out. Come here. He then he comes st- and goes, whoa. Did he stay with you? Can't have that. I would rather pay the money, which wasn't cheap, to get him his own room. <laughs> can't he have snores that. snores like a grizzly bear. He does? We got to get that taken care of. I oh, know, man can't snore it'll affect your sleep according to matt walker who wrote that book why we sleep that's the sleep guy the guy on rogan yeah i got a problem with that guy (laughs) no he's great no i got my podcast too i love i'm sure didn't hear it i got a problem with him why just because he's how he's saying this the little amount of sleep if you don't get it how it's like the end of the world now everyone's all worried and shit relax relax sleep has a problem we know sleep's important but he's like oh you you get four hours of sleep you think you're making up the next day doesn't work like that yeah yeah. Well, the truth is, you know, we've also, all, I look at, when we've people tell me I look at him, I go, we've all had to function on four hours of sleep. The, but he, the science, it's not ideal. But no, yeah, exactly. The science just says that you you should get seven to nine. For sure. I should yeah. also be eating how many veggies? But you've said, like, when before a UFC fight, you can't fucking sleep, and they'll tell you it's fine. You know, it, he's saying it's not. It, yeah, but he but, said it's not. You know, you, because you're nervous the next, it's the day before that you need your sleep. But everybody can, can power through a fucking. A day with little sleep. You, you, you know, you, we've the, all done the, it. The, the world has to. The world has to. And there are a lot of people that just ha- that function on six hours of sleep, five hours of sleep. Yeah, he's saying even those people go, I'm, I only need four hours. Like, not true. Like, <clears throat> well, God, it, you talk to those people. No, he's right. In, in other words, they can draw very tight correlations between cardiovascular disease, cancer, and, and, for al- sure, and, and not, Alzheimer's. And not, and not yeah. getting sleep, for yeah, sure. Yeah. But I'm sure just the same way you can find a lot of people who probably their heart conditions are just fine and they're doing very well. So he says it. that there's a there is a group of, there is a population, a subset of the population that can that can achieve what they call wakefulness at five hours of sleep. There are some people like I'm sure a lot of those special forces guys like with the seal training when you're not sleeping. I think that's part of weeding out. The sort of group that can't deal with it. But there also, are people that just all, can't. Also, your body adapts. Your body will adapt. Yeah. Lot, although he would. All the, the those special forces and military. Those guys might be. A lot of those guys might already have that gene. So I don't think I, all I, of them. I think I think there's also ability to over adapt. Yeah, you to, can do it. People can. There's there's moms that work, uh, you know, fucking shit hour jobs and they adapt to it. You know. Yeah, but you still now you say it's not ideal. Right. Well, life is an idea. But people who adapt, like so, so the, the people that adapt that work night shift and stuff like that, they still they have, have higher incidence of sure. diabetes yeah. and all that shit. So your body is basically genetically made to sleep but, a certain amount. For sure. But I wonder if you had to take on that work schedule, but your diet was on point, if you'd still have all those problems. 
Because a lot of those people have those problems because they're surrounded by junk food sure. and certain other things. Well, the other, There's a lot of other things that yes. go into that bad. Heart. I would imagine you would need less sleep probably if you ate really clean. But um, the, your brain apparently has a sewage system yeah. so that you, when you sleep, you clean your brain. And um, that's kind of interesting. Now, see here, The Rock says he sleeps only three to five hours a night. I, you know, I, I don't know. There's guys like that, man. Yeah, I'm sure Rogan doesn't sleep well, at they, all they either. Well, they say, uh, that, no, nah, Rogan sleeps, though. I, I've been with him. But they say <laughs> that uh, that Michael Jordan slept four or five hours. But that's a bad example. You're talking about an extreme. You're talking about a physical phenom anyway. My buddy, yeah, my, but- my buddy who was uh, uh, like the, just the biggest freak I've ever seen physically, he, re- he was my roommate. He really only needed four to five hours, and he's 50 now. He still only needs that. There are some people that just don't need as much sleep. But it's slim to vanishing. That that Jocko, right? He's yeah, yeah. Jocko. that's a good example of a guy who probably hours. needs less sleep. But fuck off with your four thirty a.m. wake up. Fuck off. I can't do it. He How posts that? too. Look, he posts every day. Oh, that motherfucker slept in <laughs> six a.m. I've been up since five thirty. I got you, Jocko. Twenty sixteen. Yeah, we need to get Jocko sleep. on this fucking show. Let's get him on. I'd love to. What happened to uh, uh, Ken Jong? What do you mean? I thought you guys were going to ask Ken Jong to be on the show. I got The text Korean him. guy. I know. I will text him, him too. He <laughs> emailed me the other day. Let's get him on. Yeah. I love you him. You got to. What else you been up to, dude? Um, How was the show while I was gone? Delia and Sassley. You brought the old 10 minute pod. Unbelievable. In, huh? Unbelievable. Delia is so funny. Delia, the, Delia, Delia got on this whole kick about how he has a Starbucks in his house because his house is so big and he didn't realize that they set one up. <laughs> and then. Uh, and he's like, ah, 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 and then and then it turned out that it was a whites only Starbucks. And we're like, well, what? He goes, just whites in it. And I was like, well, is there a sign? He goes, well, it just says, you know, we refuse to serve the right to refuse service to anyone. Then there under there was like really small lettering that I, you know, like, well, what did it say? Goes, well, it said again. I don't know. This is all new. I didn't know. And he's like, well, what did it say? He goes, well, it said no. <laughs> He's so like, stupid. dude, that's a racist Starbucks. <laughs> and then it turns out the guy who was who the older guy was dressed like a clan member. He had he was, had ro- he had a robe on. He's so white. funny, man. Fucking lives to be a Do you silly. Have fun goose. in uh, Portland. Yeah. Well, you, I, I, I had fun, but I don't drink wine anymore. I'm on a very strict diet. For can't my drink psoriasis. Dude, I can't tell you how many people come to me and go. Tell Brian to quit bullshit with his diet and whatever surprise he goes. I use this lotion and it's fucking, fucking gone. Everybody, everybody's got put banana peels on. You know how many? You know how many people hit me up? Try banana peels. Try CBD oil. Try. I mean, it's a thousand things. I'm working with a guy who's a real scientist. I'm, I'm good. And is it, let me see your legs. Um, that's it's not a good. Example. Let's stop oh. working with him. Nah, it's not a good. Hey, example. look at I me. I just started doing it. Jeez. Fuck off. I just started anyone doing who it. goes, dude, just change your diet. No, I just whatever started. you're doing is not. Well, I, working. I haven't done it yet. I'm just starting. What's he doing? Is he giving you actual medication? Anyway, this is bad because I. Your, your psoriasis is terrible. I know, because I ate a bunch of shit. Well, I thought you said bad. you didn't. No, I'm just starting this now. I made, What's made, the new diet? Changes. Just no uh, alcohol. You're like, alcohol you're like the fat yeast. girl always on a new diet. Alcohol creates yeast. I got a lot of. I, I got all my tests back. In my. Like all. I did everything from cortisol to testosterone. No, n- but no medication. How was your test? Low. What was it? Le- recently so there's 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 free testosterone that you Correct. use and then there's the testosterone that's in your body so that's why your levels when you do a level uh it wouldn't mean anything to you but it's low it, like I, I don't i remember the reading but my free testosterone and i felt it in the past uh that it's low yeah because a lot of it has to do with your gut too like my cortisol levels are really high and my my melatonin levels are really low so mm-hmm. i'm at a five melatonin 18 is low and i'm at five i don't sleep well because my cortisol levels are really you high. Usually sleep, I go to sleep, but you get sleep. Not really. <clears throat> I don't. Like on the uh, road, you're. The, the, I, mean, the, the, I mean, if you get into, if you really get into it, like if you look at the my gut bacteria and stuff like that, that can put you in a state of stress. That can did, elevate did, your cortisol levels and keep. You it don't elevated. think it's because everything you have going on? Maybe I've done part it of forever. It, it might be part you of it. You haven't had this this bad of a problem. No, it might be part of Would it. Would it kill you to take? Take a pill, or the the scientist. Yeah, you can take Humira, and you can take Biologics, and they and that increases your risk for uh, cancer. Oh, that you. But that's like, but that's like with so you take, where it's like one no of the side effects no, is depression. No, no, completely different. It's totally different. I've looked into this. When you take Humira, ready for this? You can't get life insurance. <laughs> My dermatologist goes, you can take Humira, but I have two patients: one who got lymphoma, and the other one who got 
Lupus. From that? Yeah. Are they it, it lowers out the your, gazoo? It lowers, it, it, it takes out inflammation. It manipulates certain, um, like. So the only thing you get also, rid of is also, your it diet? It also brings down, it also lowers your immune system. So the only. Yeah, they, they don't, uh, uh, psoriasis is a very tricky fucking disease. But you're right when stress and a lack of sleep, like good sleep, has a direct effect on it. So does your, so does, according to the latest scientist, your gut health. I, I think you got to, uh, before you shoot your special, you got to quit going on the road so much. I'd, I'd stay around yeah. town. I only I think have two more, is I have me. two more road gigs. I got Tampa and then I have Syracuse. Oh, th- those are close. Yeah, those Did are you close. call Justin and go, hey man, no, I need as far as possible. Well, it's Let's good check because, Tampa, then Syracuse. Well, what's good about Syracuse is you got to take four planes, then a boat, and then you have, <laughs> there's a, El Chapo built a tunnel right. that you have to crawl under. And then, um, and then by the time you get there, you're older because it takes. You're so long. older, but then also yeah. the the best thing about it too is it's connected to a mall. So then you eat really healthy because the only thing that's open that late would be a cheesecake. I can't wait for that because I'll tell you this: what's good about that also is that I have to um, my well, let's see July. I think it's sixth and seventh is the gig, so I should probably take a plane now just to make sure I get there on time. The other thing that's going to be good for you too, because you don't have any UFC fans, is you're doing on the biggest UFC of the year. So that Saturday's. <laughs> What do I do? I watch DC versus Stipe or yeah. go see Brian Callen? Yeah, that's a good. Well, I like to, I like to just uh, really push myself, but it doesn't matter because I'm getting ready to shoot my special, so I'm working on. I know. It's only two nights. It's Friday, Saturday. It'll be fine. Yeah, I, just, I don't. I can't wait for that fight. I might, I might miss my own show to watch that fight. I know. How, how about one guy goes, dude? Dave Chappelle and John Stewart are they're performing the same night as you, man? I went, uh, okay. He goes, I, I'm just. Do I go see Dave Chappelle and John Stewart, or do I go your show? I went. You go see them. You, you go see them. Matter of fact, I might cancel my Saturday. Show. I didn't go see them myself. <laughs> yeah, some of completely those, those. different demo. John Stewart. I remember seeing John Stewart in nineteen old school, huh? Ninety eight when he was doing stand up before he had the John Stewart show, and and I saw him many times in He's just brilliant. clubs. You'd be sitting there in a club, he'd show up, and he was as good as anybody that's ever lived. John Stewart was He's so an good. amazing stand-up comic. I'd love to see what him and uh, Dave Chappelle's stand-ups like together. Like, he opens up. I remember then- I used to watch Dave Chappelle. I did shows with Dave Chappelle when he would get up. And even back then, people were like, oh, Dave Chappelle. Like, he would get up and, you know. And then our, uh, Pete Davidson opened for him. That's a hell of a show, man. Yeah. John Stewart, just a goddamn legend. He's just, he's never been bad. He's never been not, anything. He's never not At been anything. great. Yeah, The Daily Show, unbelievable. He's just he's just awesome in every way. He did really they, is. Did they name the tour? Or is it just the Chappelle and Stewart tour? Uh, when you're that famous, I get a sense that John tour. Stewart is such a decent human being, like in every way. Like he's so thoroughly, con- like ethically and morally consistent. Don't you feel that way? Like he's just such a good guy. Yeah, I want to be his friend. Huh? <laughs> I want to be his friend. Me too. I would love to be his friend. They did. I afraid they did a play. Played D one soccer. They, did you they know? They played that? A, a like a, the place only held like six k. I thought it told yeah. more than that. Stewart played D one soccer. Oh yeah, smart financial. Wang Theater. Wow. I'd love to see that. They're nowhere near. They're, are they in L A at all? Oh, I'd love to see that too. Is it? Is that I it? Get that's it. Yeah. No, they're only doing Boston, Houston, El Paso, Texas. Let me see Eric Bana. Maybe that's just him. for. Let's look at the t- tickets. Please. Here. Nothing's on sale yet, so. My boyfriend, uh, Jared Leto's is uh, here at the forum, July 19th. You're going to go there and rubber band your fucking undies at him? Uh, I'm going to have to tie down my dick. Love you! <laughs> Jared! I Jared! No. Oh. Interesting. You want to say Eric, Eric Banner? What'd you say? No, I just saw that he's doing a new series. I oh. just like one of those guys I thought it was awesome, and he kind of just disappeared. I'd love to see those two, though. Since they announced it, but there's no way that's it. It says few exclusive dates, so that's probably it. Damn. Yeah. In June. Boston, there's nothing in L.A.? Where Stuart lives, he's a New York guy, huh? Yeah, that's it. Wow. I think so. He's been in New York a long time. The only time to see him would have been when I was in Houston. <laughs> Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> Damn Fuck. it. Because I could fly to El Paso. <laughs> Let me jump into El Paso. That's to, yeah. that's a, what a weird way to go. Where is El Paso? Boston, Houston. You name the college in El Paso? No. The UTEP Miners, I think it is. Really? University of Texas, El Paso. You would have liked me as I was um, 
I was in the elevator coming up here, and a giant blonde man, just a giant, and I looked at him, and I just like, Uh oh, you suck him off? <laughs> he was so big. I go, play football? He goes, yeah. I go, where? He goes, Texas A&M. I was like, what'd you play? He goes, defensive end, tight end. Tight end, I went. What was his name? Play, try out for the pros? He goes, yeah, I, I played arena league, then I tried out for the Browns, and didn't work out. <laughs> Did you get his name? No, he was just a giant blonde guy, like a, just a, like, Klopp, but with uh, he's put on some weight. Yeah, I think it's the it's UTEP. I think their name's the Miners. We played them in a uh, UTEP. Uh, UTEP, man, University of Texas El Paso. It stands for. <gasps> All right. Sometimes I'll take a hand to Chin's face. UTEP. No. I heard. What's, the what's their mascot? Probably a lobster. It should say on guess. the right there. Does it, Chin? A lobster. Think so. It's the miners. An oyster. Why don't they have an oyster as a mascot? Hey, dirt, Pete. Just an oyster, and the mascot just sits there and festers. A little bit opens up every now and then. Yeah, and then somebody eats it and then throws up or dies of food poisoning. <laughs> That's aggressive. Yep, miners. Okay. Fucking A. That's the. Uh, oh, there you go. Now, being a mascot would be. Um, it's an interesting move. If my son decides he wants to be a mascot. Yeah, don't come home. Or to play the tuba in the high school band. Tuba, I'd I'm prefer. Going to, I would prefer it, but I'm going to have to discourage both. I may have to strike him. Now, there's a good him. chance if your son's the mascot, he plays the dick flute, Brian. You think so? Oh, dude. Is, well, there, I, is, that, is that typically what gay men are drawn to? It's science, bro. Why? It's, I mean, Do you have. Hold on. You're telling me that if you're a mascot and you like to. You wear foam heads and you. You dance around that you're, you're now. If you said sh- if you're a male cheerleader, I can understand kind of being like woo. Kind of, but but but, I'm sorry, sir. It's science, man. I don't. Yeah, you know, you know, Rocky. I, I, you know, Rocky for the Nuggets. Yeah, it's like the meanest dick in How the Rockies. How do you know that, dude? You're being dude. That's science. I don't know if it is, dude. You're just you can't. Can't you be straight and be a mascot? Bring one of those scientists on your podcast. Ask them. Well, can't you be kind of a like just a little bit of a dork? I've never been a guy who's. Like that much into a team and that cheery, you know, he's cheery. Yeah, but you're hidden underneath there, so you get away with a lot of what shit. What kind of money do those guys make? Oh, bank. Millions? Bank, bro. <laughs> bank. But I mean, it, it is interesting. You ever right? seen the mascots get in a fight? No. Real fights? You two mascots get in fights. Why would you be a mascot? That, there's got to be a lot of anger behind that. I wonder, mask. I'd love to, I'd love for a therapist to sit down with 10 mascots. Yeah. You're so hot. So you, you, so, you know, Rocky from the Nuggets got paid bank. He was the number one mascot in the NBA. I didn't know that. He's getting paid serious money. Look at this. This is obviously fake. Oh, no, there's some real ones. Go to the best mascot uh, fights. Go back. Don't ever go to a fake one again. <laughs> Very funny. I don't believe that any mascot would really fight. Uh, I've seen one where they're like... Serious? Yeah. That's incredible. It's, I'm pretty sure it's college. Sometimes you see those NASCAR guys. Mascot fight, fight compa- er, compilation. Yeah, it's those NASCAR boys that throw down. They'll throw down. That yeah, these are all going to be fakes. Yeah, fuck it, Chin. Just fuck it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ding, Dinger will suck you off right, though. I just feel like you're making that up, Brendan. Dude. Dinger will suck you off. No, don't say that. You don't know about Dinger. Is Dinger his name? Yeah, Dinger. First of all, his name's Dinger. Dude, look at look into it. What's your name, bro? Dinger. Dinger. Ah. He's a big purple dinosaur. Whoops, there's my dick. Big purple dinosaur. Tries yeah. to suck on them Rocky Mountain oysters. Stop. I don't like when you, like, you always do every Sh- podcast. What do you mean? Suck. Suck. Why do you like that? I don't know. How do you your braces, drinking? bro? Good, man. My teeth are How come they're not straight. in? They are. Let me see the bottoms, bro. The top, I don't worry about. Coming together. That one's still like, yo. Well, the rest of them are like, get in line, soldier. He's falling back. That in line. one goes, yo. No, he's falling in line. He's kind of. Yeah. He's the Rosa Parks Can't of your teeth. Can't fucking wait till I'm done with these. He's things. the Rosa they Parks of me. your teeth, huh? Yes, he is. Not back of the bus. Yep. Not up in here. Yep. And he's and he's fighting. To not get up in, the front. in here. He's fighting to get in the front. Yep. yep. Yellow pride. It, I well, I I don't know how yellow they are. I clean. I cleanse them today. Brown pride. That you're drinking cherry retreat, huh? It's kombucha, bro. No sugar. Oh, there you go. I like that. No sugar, bro. It's better booch. Better hooch, man. It says better booch. I know I say better hooch because of You're drinking some booch? Hooch. Better hooch. Kombucha. Um, What's up, bro? You got a, got an audition I'm going to help you with. I know. We can't say what it's for, though. I'd get I in know. trouble. 
but you got to play a guy who's a f- tough but afraid. Kind of. I'll send you the script. I know what it is. And you want to try it now? Act like you're tough? No. Be yeah, afraid? I can't, yeah, I can't. I can't Where's do my that. money? I'm not doing it, man. Just go. I don't know. I'll get in trouble. I know, but just, but just go. I don't know. I don't know. That's good. Where's my money? I don't know. Can you do a little breathe in before that? Where's my money? Well, I breathe hard anyway. But just go. Breathe in before that. Let me hear it. Where's my money? I don't know. Can you do a little like stutter breathe? Where's my money? I don't know. Because I said to Chris Lear, I said, every time you see me, I hear this. Are you scared? He's just in awe of me. How about, how about whenever uh, I buy shoes? I, did I send you a picture of the new shoes I bought? Yeah, they, they made me so angry. I sent I showed I showed reason. Stevie those shoes, Stevie Blue Eyes. I showed, I was like, Jesus Christ. Who's worse fashion between you and Stevie, though? Well, Stevie's just very simple. Both of you are very simple. Yeah, we both But are. I sent it to... Uh, me, whenever me and Delia are in new towns, where we send each other like shopping or whatever. He's like, "How's the shopping, bro?" I'm all amazing. He goes, "Can't wait." There in two weeks, I went go to Webster's. He goes, "Done." Look at those shitty shoes. Why did you get those? Are those Reeboks? <laughs> Seriously, what are they? <laughs> those are off white. What does that mean? Off white, <laughs> Virgil. Okay, now now let me break this down. When you see those shoes, let's be serious. I got rock hard. But I, but they're, they're, why? Because of the tic tac toe thing. Because of I the, love the tic tac toe thing. I like the the, the way red. they're done. I like how e- exclusive they are. How wait, hard wait, they wait. get? What's that? You see the tag? What on the them? fuck is that tag doing, that, bro? That's the off white. <laughs> you keep deal. that on. Keep that on. <sighs> that's so annoying, man. You don't think those look dope? I'm. They're so. It's so annoying. Chino, I love that. that you have picture. a fucking. Get that tag off. Tag, you didn't snip that off? <laughs> nah. Oh, my God. It's Not so on off annoying. Bro. And then, you, and then the, the white laces that are all, God. Oh. And then you just have them. You got that big lip. Yeah. Like a big shield. Yeah. And you just like the way that looks, huh? I like it. What do you do? You, you watch the way it get kind of, you graduate into your fucking jeans that you roll up? No, I, I am. I'm getting there. And I don't. Uh, the Texas boys, mm-mm, they. Mm-mm. I thought, well, of course I thought, they, I thought I was gonna have a hate crime on me. Well, sure. I heard a lot of. I would not cr- get get out of here, boy. We don't want your kind around here. I thought my kind. Well, Maybe with, with those shoes, because those no, those shoes. That you should kind of be thrown in a flying headlock. I mean, if you weren't so tough, I would do it on principle. I know. I'd kick you right in the fucking ass. I, know, I don't have one friend who can beat me up. I know. I wish I could beat you up because I'd kick you I right in the ass. I wish you could, too. I wish I could just give you a fight. Me, too. And then I, I, it'd be worth really tussling up because if know, you show the shoes, I'd go, I could be behind you, i go, nope, dude, can I, I sidekick you right in the ass. Are you going to get started on TRT? Now you have low test? <laughs> no. I'm just going to change shit. Uh, in 60 days, we'll have a call, talk. Oh, see, keep scrolling down. I'll show you the whole exclusive style. Keep going. Keep going. There's, they show four shoes. I post it just so people can educate themselves. There's one there? Uh, nope, keep going. Those are new Puma Club. Keep going. They just got released. You'll see. Keep going. But I really scrolled this page. <laughs> keep going. There they there. are. That's a different style. You see something now, like B? I would buy you some just so no, I you don't look never like wear them. Fuck. I would ne- at 51 wearing Dude, those? Dude, for your special? You're telling me if at you came out in those black years ones, old? people wouldn't go insane and we'll leave the red tag on? Let's say off-white? <laughs> They'd go, why is that 51-year-old wearing, wearing candy on his feet? No. You, you, nah. have your, you have your outfit picked out? No. I need one. I know. <laughs> what do you think I should wear? <laughs> hey, man. No, stop. Stop laughing at me. I need to. Oh. What would you suggest? Oh, I have my outfit picked out for your special already. What would you suggest I wear? A... What would you suggest I wear? I need uh, some, just probably some good cheese. cape jeans. and underwear and call yourself dick boy all right i like that bad to the boner that was funny that you had that's that funny, huh? bad to the boner that's a new shirt um it's a great shirt what uh it's a great shirt maybe uh, maybe i should we should make an american boner shirt just for the fuck of it well for your special i was gonna bring a bunch of the one love shirts which are selling like great. hotcakes great for sure don't call your special one love or american boner i won't not a big deal i can't what else are you gonna do one love's funny one love it, but that's you man i don't get why you don't call it one love it's not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea. I like uh, American Boner. I let's get, get it. it. Let's I get. It. You know, yeah. I get it. The so fans much. demand it, but that's our fans. They're yeah. gonna watch anyways. Yeah. If you're trying to be mainstream, yeah. And you have this show on NB- NBC, right? I keep fucking ABC. that up. ABC. God yeah. damn it! You have a show on ABC. American Boners might be a little too much. Maybe. Fifty-one. I love it. I love it. It's hilarious. Don't get me wrong. We'll make it. American Boner shirts. Yeah. 
I think we should make American Bonner. I think we should make American Bonner shirts for sure for the for the special. You want? I mean, when we go there on on in Chicago. Okay, we have one. We can do one love. And I think we should boner. sell American Boner shirts. I think we should launch them. That we'll, let's get a good American Boner shirt. Say no more, fam. Right? Yeah. And we, um, we've never had better uh, artists than we have now. Right. It's not, we're on fire. Yeah. Yeah. Um. um what dude, outfit? How, how, how about what the, should I wear? I need your help right now. T-shirt. I, I think you should go b- black shirt, okay. like a soft black shirt, and some uh, light colored jeans. And dark light shoes jeans. and dark shoes. Not like soup. Du- those are too dark with a black shirt. Really? Okay. You, you, you Bruce Wayne? Well, well, it's the summer too. It's the summer. So black shirt so I don't sweat. You don't see the sweat. Correct. Good idea. You sweat and yep. you move around a lot. Yeah. Black shirt. T-shirt. T-shirt. Okay. Black tee. And some nice jeans. And then some. Then, I, then I'd wear some, uh, I'd get some black common projects or something. Low tops. Uh, common projects don't support my, so I need something a little bit more athletic than common projects. You know what I'm saying? You need something more athletic. Yeah, you like want, that. You I want can, a nice athletic shoe that can that 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 um, supports my feet. Could I wear those like uh, those Adidas Zooms? Oh, I'm sorry. What? Adidas Zooms. <laughs> uh, th- some, there's some black Adidas that are sweet. Yeah, you can go shoot shopping if you want. Let's go don't shoot shopping, me, boy. Let's, Let's go shoot it. shopping. All right. I'll be yeah. your designer. Hey, yeah. will you give me credits on your special? Yes, I swear to God. Des- Des- That'd be hilarious. <laughs> Outfit by Shaw. <laughs> That'd be great. Yes, please. I swear that. to God, I will. All right, let's do it. That's actually a great That'd idea. That'd be fun. Stylist Brendan Shaw. Stylist Brendan You'll Shaw. get your first fucking credit. Yes. As stylist. Yes. <gasps> oh, I'm so the fucking do my begins. hair up like a quaff, too. The career begins. Yeah. it will be adorable. Chicago would be fun. Um, look at Kevin with the gold chain. God, I wish we could wear a chain like that. I know you do. <laughs> He's got a gold. Ke- I looked up Kevin Stylus last night. Yeah. He's fucking dressed so well, man. I- see that? See, though? There you go. There's your outfit. Not that long of a shirt or a chain. Oh, there but- you go. I see I see what you're saying, though. The yeah. jeans are a little, yeah. they're bluer. Yeah, they're blue. Okay. Not so dark. All right. I like that. Yep. That's your I like outfit, what you're saying. You. Yep. Then we could do that's some, it. So we'll do some sick, like, uh, boost, some some Adidas boost. We'll go to Adidas. There off. you go. Yep. There you go. I love it. And then so get Adidas rid of the boost. business socks and we'll okay. figure it out. <laughs> Adidas Boost. We got those jeans that right there. Boom. What's wrong with that? Nothing. I got a little while to get my arms that muscular. <laughs> yeah. He's got he's been working out. His style, I looked up his style. She's pretty cool. I'm liking that. Real simple. I like that a lot. James Purse has some good black shirts. See what happens with that. Yeah. Black, Nike, black Adidas Boost is good. They got a they got a solid black. They have all black. I like that. Yeah. I'm going to buy those. Let's do that, B. Perfect. Yes. Styled by Shab. Solved that problem. Hey, how about my dad sent me that uh, Father's Day card? Oh, it was was great. I I loved it. Let me see. You want to see it? You should post that. What is it? Your dad sent you a Father's Day card? No, my dad goes, uh, you did this when you were eight to show like whatever. (laughs) Just being silly creative when I was eight. Uh Um, Well, the guy's dressed like a My dad was going on a cruise. It says, I love cruises. It's a little racist. I'll it's give actually you that. a really good drawing for an eight-year-old. Right? Yeah. Bring this up, Jim. Oh, okay. So you later, you Senor, for your dad's saying, father's Later, Senor, he's smoking a cigar. That's really good. With a bird? Look at the bird. Do you paint? Do you draw? Yeah, I, I used to draw all the time. You did, right? I remember for the what about the, the, for the long time there? I was doing I did dude, all you've got a, you've got a you got a sperm whale. Look at this. Okay, so he's got the picture is of this uh, Mexican looking guy and he's saying later senor he's grinning with a curly mustache a hat that says san san lucas and then and then he's got look at this you got a you got a purple parrot you have a sperm whale that's pink Mm. a pink sperm whale that might say something i was gonna say you got a beautiful uh windsurfer Mm. A, a multicolored windsurfer, and then a dragonfly mm. that looks so professionally done, I, I can't even take it. It's like a collage, and then you have vacation time in bright yellow and pink. And yellow and pink were your colors. You have a flamingo I like standing it. on one leg. Yeah, that's weird. You have a lizard, a gecko, and you have a butterfly. I liked it Hope loud. you have your little... Hope... Vaca- vacation time. Hope you have fun. Your lil... L I L L I L, buddy. I was way before those little. Uzis. Now I think you were probably nineteen here, <laughs> and you're saying you were young. 
because there's no way that an eight year old did this. So I'm going to say that you were, I'm going to say you were 15 years old. No, definitely not. And somehow, I don't know how it happened, but somehow at 15, somebody shamed you into thinking that you're straight. <laughs> and, um, and now you've been pretending ever since. <laughs> how did you do? These are like stickers. Those are stickers. Okay. This is actually really good. Right? At eight? For eight? Yeah, that's really good. But it said, you did this when you were eight. So, th- no one believed me I could draw. Wow. My dad just randomly sent that yesterday. The face is really good. It really is. Later, senor. <laughs> I mean, the cigar is outstanding. He's biting on the cigar. Yeah, that, that's actually a good detail. It the is. The teeth are perfect, too. Your little buddy, Bren. Little. Before all those little Uzi, little Yachty, yeah. little Bren, bitch. <laughs> Guy's got small wrists and giant fingers. Really yeah, thick. Like really couldn't dial a cell hands. phone with those fingers. <laughs> nope, These look exaggerate. funny. No, and couldn't couldn't uh, button his buttons with those fingers. Now those fingers my my fat. signature is way better when I was eight than it is now. And this I know uh, I was eight back then because if you go to that other picture I mm-hmm. sent you, the back where I signed, I did number fifty five. I was fifty five in little league football. You got a hammock there. The colors of the uh, gay flag, I think. <laughs> So <laughs> made by just in case my dad was wondering who made, made it. Made by Brennan Schaub and then the gay flag, the great gay pride. Number fifty five, bro. What was fifty five for? Pee wee football, junior sale. Oh. Wow. Oh. Uh. Fuck y'all. I don't know why you didn't play linebacker. You being <laughs> you always say that silly. <laughs> Chin, what'd you do this weekend? Chin, now, Chin, you launched your YouTube page. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jay goes, man, uh, Chin's page keeps getting more popular. You think he's just going to take off and find a kid? I'm like, good chance, Jay. Good <sighs> chance. No. I sent you a song to sing. I've been balls deep in country lately. Oh, yeah. You, you sent me a Mercy. Mercy. Mercy and then by... have you heard um, Written in Sand? Mm-mm. <sighs> Dude. Written in Sand. You need to sing that one. Country artist? Let's hear it. Oh. Written in Sand. It's not written on paper, but written on sound. Is that all right? Old, Old Dominion? Dominion? Yep. Hit it. Not written on a tree, but can written on sound. Can you do this one for me, Chan? Yeah. I mean, we can't play. A, I'll chop this up so you can listen to a little not bit of it. Not written on the small listen of your beat. back. He's from Armenia, that guy. Is he? He looks like it, huh? <laughs> turn me on, turn me off, then you turn me back on by the weekend. And you won't say the words that I want, but you flirt when you're drinking. I mean, Cowboys getting sexy these days, right? Oh, yeah. Singers, oh, yeah. they're well dressed and groomed. Oh, yeah. Are we just a backseat trying to get it while we can? Can you do this one, Chin? Yeah, but it doesn't sound that. You're not feeling it? No, let me see. Let me see. Go to look. Dan, Dan and Shay Tequila. That's my second favorite song right now. You don't know shit about country, B. I'm trying to sure, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Have you heard this big? one? Is old I heard of Dan and Shea. Not, not like huge. Dan and Shea are the biggest right now. They're, they're the number one album in the country. Wow. Have you heard this? Um, I probably did, but let me see. Can you sing this one? I feel when like country music lyrics are so much better than everyone else's. Well, they're very, they're very literal. It's all about it's not a lot of metaphor. All about getting bitches. <laughs> they tell stories. They really do. Love, it's pretty on love point, stories. though. Those are my favorite things. It's not a lot of poetry. It's not a lot of metaphor. It's pretty direct. I was sitting in your truck. You were looking at my That's what I like, though. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what I like. You and know? I knew from the day you said you'd be my girl. <laughs> That's right. And we were going to be together. <laughs> we're best friends. <laughs> like white on rice. See, have you heard this one? I don't know if this Man, is this for is you, so Jim. not country-ish. Dude, this is the number it's one like country, a pop. This is the number one country album yeah, in the world. This is pop, bro. This ain't country. Uh, I disagree. It's sounding more country now. Yeah, I know. This. That is country as fuck. I mean, it's not Gart Brooks. When I taste tequila, baby, I still see ya. Hey, <laughs> can hear your, your my braces. God. I don't you have your care. braces in? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my God! Don't do that. Bro. There's a line gets in the way every time I try to sing a song. We should do a country song about your braces. 
But I just wanna say, hey, hey. I'm 51, I finally decided to get my teeth straight. 51. When I look in the mirror, it's a nightmare, baby. I'm, when I'm a good looking guy until I smile or take my shirt and pants off. And You're then just I'm okay. You're just okay, cause your hair is yelling, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> is that a red spotted leopard? No, it you is. You have red spots Brian, all over your legs. Your teeth are crooked as shit. Brian Callen, the leopard. Brian Callen, the spotted leopard. Is he a leopard or a leper? I'm just proud of that one tooth. I'm, I'm proud of that one tooth is like, nah. I got one's su- like, I'm nope. going to write a song called Psoriasis. No, I got Psoriasis. No, write a song that says, not up in here, and just about that one tooth who's not having it. Now my tooth is coming. My tooth is falling in line. No, it's, it's a not. struggle. He's fighting every Re- day. Viva la resistance. <laughs> Viva the, la resistance. Teeth refuse to get in. I got one hold out in the bottom of my mouth. <laughs> one hold out in the bottom of my mouth. Teeth says, nope, 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 nope. My skin's worse than a silver beam. Yeah, that that's is. That's right. the worst I've ever seen. You're like, that's yeah. a bummer. It's all right. Nah, it's not though. It's not on my scalp. Yeah, your face. Oh my God, I would pay money to have your face covered like that soon. No, it's a bad. What scene. would you do? I'd be in trouble. Have to wear makeup, dude. How fucking shitty would that be? You finally, get your big break and your spinoff show. Sorry, and guys. Your face is covered in spots. Yeah. And ABC goes. I hate to do this, man. We're gonna have to replace you with something yeah. without spots. Don't show me that shit. Oh, I know. I, I didn't want to. to. I just want to see if it exists. I didn't I know they had to on the oh, face. Does it ever, Chin? That's his future. No. Oh. What would you do if they're like, hey, man, uh, this, there's no other, there's no easy way to tell you this, but uh, we want to tell you in person. We I'd pr- go back we, to stand-up, Brennan. Nope. We probably should have told you weeks ago. But, I'd go back um, to doing what I do anyway. All the spots, we can't have it. We found a replacement. Who is it? Let's find this guy. He's this big guy. He, his name's Brennan. What? <laughs> what would you do? With this perfect <laughs> skin? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'd be like, I'm happy for you. <laughs> Would you, did you release a new song on uh, YouTube, Jin? Uh, I don't think so. Nothing new? No. Just that one of Manlo's one was, that's the last one. Jin trying to get famous on us, huh, B? Nah. He's famous. He's not going to be famous. He's, he's already changed. He's you the way he's changed. 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 Hmm? You create him fanatic. Oh, well, you, didn't, you didn't talk about the create him on this show yet, right? Oh, I'm off create him. Yeah, 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 entirely. No it's a, it's a, it's a, what caused the vertigo. Oh, really? Yeah. Talk Are to you sure doctor. about that? Really? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Fuck. It's the only thing I, I, I added in my diet. It's the only thing that's new. And if you overuse it, that's one of the side effects. Wow. I was using it every day. and uh, <laughs> Every single day. And I miss it. And uh, so I can't use it anymore because <laughs> it's it. causing uh, problems. I if, uh, I, you, gotta, you, have, you have drug addict tendencies. Mm, but I know like that was, like when I got sick, there's nothing. Yeah. Listen, being high on Kratom is great. Being sick is way worse. Yeah. I'll take being normal all day. Yeah. yeah. That's all it took. That's right. A little vertigo? I make you sober. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, my God, bro. Vertigo sucks. Terrible. Everything is dizzy. I had a weird... I had a fucking... I was having dinner... This is 20 years ago at my buddy Jed's house with his parents. And I don't know what happened, but as I was at dinner, it looked like the jug of water was about to fall. And I went, whoa! And my buddy said, you know, my dad just wanted you to know that later on, he goes, you know, um, he just wanted you to know that if you're doing drugs or anything like that, you know, there's, there's help out there. Like, they thought I was high. Because it wasn't moving? Yeah, and I don't know what happened. It was an optical illusion. My eyes played a trick on me. Yeah. That does happen, though. It's fucking weird. Does like, it? Doesn't happen to you? Never. Like, you think you're going to hit Unless something? Unless I'm deserted in a fucking desert. I haven't had water in seven days. And I see, like, a mirage or some shit, but never had a... AC well, cool this house. was in the desert, and I had been on oh, a force see, that march. Makes, okay, that's I had been that. on a force march. Yeah, you thought it was a unicorn. They say that those ultra marathoners like, like hallucinate. Oh, that the one on Rogan, she was saying she sees stuff all the time, like cats talking. Because she hasn't and slept stuff. and stuff. Yeah, she start having a wake dream. Yeah, damn, good stuff. That must be good for you. Keep running. She's a badass. She can like run fat, farther than any man. A lot of badasses. Yeah. So, what did you do this weekend, Chin? Just uh, I was working on some more videos for. Chin cam stuff for, or the chin for cam. the YouTube channel for your YouTube channel. Really? T five K. What stuff? There's a bunch. Really? A lot a of behind the scenes stuff. All right. Yeah. What's this? You know the stuff that I made last time the chin cam. 
Remember where we, we just followed you guys when you guys went to shows and stuff over here. There's like five hours of stuff. Well, I'm shooting ridiculousness on Friday. You I told you I want to go. If they ha- if it's possible. I don't, I don't see why not. Is that still going? Yeah, they're on season 12. Damn. I'm shooting two episodes. If I could go, I'd definitely I go. I feel like Netflix is just taking MTV and Comedy Central and so many different networks and been like, take a seat. Take a seat. You know what I mean? A little bit. Yeah. Hmm. So much Nothing's changing faster than our business, I feel like. You know? Entertainment? Yeah. I mean, it's it, it's just like you have to continue to you know, adapt. There's too much good content out there. I don't think uh, with podcasts, though, this is my personal opinion. I think a lot of people would agree to that they like it to be this way. Yeah. Like if you start adding a lot of crap to it, sure. it's not as appealing Yeah, if you make anymore. it all like all sorts of 360 view and all yes. that shit, it might be too Well, I mean, right. yeah. Jesus that might Christ. help. <laughs> yeah. But as long as it's more, as real as possible, yeah. not like overly produced, yeah, that's I what agree. people want. It's raw. Yeah. 100%. But it's it almost like as, as technology becomes more, you know, pervasive and stuff and better, there's still like this idea that people like a lot of restaurants are now like the high end restaurants, the chefs go and forage for the mm-hmm. food, like their own mushrooms and area. You know, also, it's like this. Well, they've been movement. doing that, but also in LA, there's no cell phones. In, so, the, in the restaurants. Yeah, you, yeah. Or you get a discount on your bill if you, if yep. you don't use your cell phone yep. or they just don't allow cell phones. Yeah. It's very cool. Taking away like from the, yeah. I think concerts and uh, stand up should do that. I agree. Every 100%. concert, every stand up should get rid of their phone. It really, yeah, it bugs me when I see somebody filming my shit. Yeah. Like I see that all the time. I'm like, you know, what are you going to do? Put it on YouTube? Know. You know. You got some current cool events, Jen? I do, man. The first one, I know you guys heard of this already. Michael Rappaport essentially running over to stop someone from opening uh, an airplane door I, that would be during Mike. the flight. That would be Mike. So, I don't know about this. No, this is true. This yeah. is true because there's witnesses. This is no. I'm saying oh, I didn't. I didn't hear about that. Oh, oh okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but however, did you know this that you can't open it during flight? What yeah. do you mean? You can't open the emergency. That's, exit it's during, impossible to it's open. Impossible, you're saying, yeah, yeah. yeah. That 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 you might want to look that up, Jim. But that's what I was told by someone who flies for United. Because I went uh, when I was on my flight, I said something to the lady. I went. Oh, how about that crazy person? Try or she brought it. Up. She goes, yeah, "How about the crazy person trying to open the emergency door?" I go, "I know my boy stopped, and that's a good friend of mine, Mike Rapport." And she goes, "Yep." Yeah. She goes, "But in fire away at it because even a guy your size can open that during mid-flight. It's it's wow. impossible." She goes, "Why would they make it that easy to do? It, you'd kill the whole fucking plane." Yeah. She goes, "It's it's impossible to do mid-flight." Yeah, there was a defensive end I played in the NFL for a long time mm-hmm. who tried to do it. He got up and he had a psychotic incident. And he's like six foot. You know, seven, and he was huge, and he tried to open nobody, and everybody was like, "You got this giant who's having a psychotic, psychotic event," and uh, and he couldn't. He couldn't no, the, the, the planes aren't going to put that much faith into humanity that people aren't going to open that shit up. Otherwise, ISIS. So, what did Mike like, do? You got him to stop the guy. I'm not sure what exactly did Mike do. Oh, so it says it's like a thousand pounds to pull it. So just the the pressure alone, it's pretty much impossible. <clears throat> but there's got to be tons of locks and stuff. Yeah, there's locks and safety, so you can't just open yeah. it like a moron. So a guy was trying to open it, he, thinking it was a bathroom door, but no one knew it this, at the time. So Michael ran up to him and said this, what the fuck are you doing? And the guy was you know, like genuinely confused. So after they interviewed him later on, he's just a guy, I'm guessing he's probably like a, a foreigner, maybe an Asian dude or something that had just no idea where the bathroom oh, door so was. Oh, so he at. wasn't like, no, no, no. And Mike was like, stop right now. I'm like, fucked him up. No, it's a complete Mike just went, accident. What the fuck you doing? Yeah, and the guy's like, oh, I didn't know. What's rap we're talking about here? <laughs> Yo, we had a fucking incident on the plane. Yeah, my hero right here. Hero, my Aaron, rap report hero. authority right here. Big baby. <laughs> Fake rock. <laughs> He's with the big three guys. Yeah. Ah. Who are the big three guys? Oh, the Fox, basketball. The basketball. Aaron Davis keeps it all the way funky. <laughs> Aaron Davis hasn't made that face since he banged it on Karolinko. He had the Karolinko face, the Karolinko dunk face. Baby, we're trying to get you in the Expendables, man, but your reaction time. <laughs> your reaction time. Yo, Baby could be an action star. I thought Big Baby got arrested for all that marijuana and ju- drug charges. Baron Davis. Big Baby Davis and Michael Rappaport. 
<laughs> Stay woke on a plane. But no bullshit. That's waiting for the moment. He's great. He's so yeah, great. I love rap. I wish I knew basketball that well. <laughs> for real. Yeah, they, that, they keep trying to do that three on three league. Uh, what else you got, Jen? This right here. So your your show making a murderer uh, that kid Brendan. Yeah. I guess his appeal for the Supreme Court was denied. So they're I not thought he try got it. out. I don't know anything about this guy. Do you know? Do you know what making a murderer? I know you talked about him a lot. Yeah, you haven't seen making a murderer. Seen it? No. Oh my god, Jen! What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> um. So Brendan was the kid that they thought was in on it, right? Mm -hmm. And. uh He's the one where the, he basically admits that he helped out, and then he goes, uh, can I get out of here and go hand in my art project? They go, fuck your art project, son. You're going away for life, for murder. You remember that? God damn, yeah, I do. Now he's trying to get out. Uh, for, I thought he got out for just being so stupid. They didn't want him in the prison. But apparently uh, he's not getting out. Wow. Damn, he's looking older too, man. Yeah. yeah. Denied. That's Denied. the thing, though. Like, we get, like, the staircase, making a murder, um, name any of the other fucking ones. Um, all those big ones. All those major docs. Remember, it's for entertainment. They're painting a story. We don't get all the facts. And the Supreme Court does, I would imagine, right? I would imagine. I mean, they're, yeah, uh, exactly. I'd imagine that, that, that so they like, are looking like at when, all the facts. When people go, what the fuck, and let's, let's vote for this and get the dacities out of prison— I guess when you talk to people who are in the know, like, no, he obviously killed, like, we know for a fact he fucking murdered her. But they paint the story so, you know, it, this conflict creates media. That's what they want. But see, right here it says that a panel of judges in the Seventh Circuit, U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals, ruled against him by saying that he spoke freely after Miranda Wright's warnings. So he, he, if he's, like, somewhat, like, messed up in the head, of course he'll speak freely after like he did it yeah. after the Miranda They might rights. be looking at very specific, you know, kind of like guidelines mm -hmm. in which whether the Supreme Court only can hear a certain exactly. number of cases. I, this reminds me like the commission, like the, yeah. you know, when someone like got, you know, didn't tap out or whatever, yeah. commission doesn't even bother hearing it because yeah. they're like, no, the referee said this, it's done. Yeah. Yeah. So it could possibly be that. He, if you watch too, and again, I need all the facts. I'm not, I'm not going to base my decision just off a documentary, but if you watch it, the cops interview him, he was super young at the time. Definitely, were like, this is what happened, wasn't it? And would tell him, he go, I, I guess. Yeah. And they go, it was. Yeah. You want to do that because of this? He yeah. go, uh, I guess. That was that was a, that's that what was you shady. see. That's where you see how confessions can be absolutely coerced. for sure. But the, but and then also in the staircase movie, the guy, the the DA, the prosecutor, the guy who they brought in for forensics, got fired years later, seven years later, because they found out he was making stuff up and putting in false evidence. Wow. And so that's how we got a retrial now. Damn. He got a retrial because he convicted a man for life. The guy spent 21 years in jail. They find out that he was innocent. He was oh, just a bystander. Fuck. And that guy made up all the evidence. What? And the, that he was the same prosecutor and uh, forensic guy for, kind of for the, for the staircase that? guy. And he goes, like he was hitting something, saying the blood was splattered there. And it, it's just not true. All of it was, he just falsified all of it. Damn. So they retrialed him and he got off. The staircase guy? He had to he had to admit to involuntary manslaughter, but because of that and the Jesus. forensics, he he's he's free. Wow. That's crazy. Crazy. Some shade. Can you imagine being innocent and going to prison? Why would for you do that years? to somebody, man? He's a bad dude, man. I, talk about bad. It's like that dude who uh the prosecutor um for the case for those Duke athletes. Yeah, the rape he case. He knew what the fuck was up. He knew, and he got disbarred. But what a piece of shit! I think it's because I, when I see a guy like that, I go, "He goes, those guys bullied me in high school, so Correct. I'm gonna get him back." Yep. That's literally what it is. Yep. But what a fucking asshole! You're talking about people's lives. This Dude, woman, this woman, lives? this woman who's one of the, the the Duke players' mothers, tough woman. She goes, "He had a he had a silver bullet. He thought it would get him ahead politically, and he shot it." And he's gonna and he's going to regret it for the rest of his life because they sued the fuck out of him. Oh my mail. god, I'm sure. Fuck that guy. I have no mercy for those kind of guys. I get a piss so bad. Can we take a quick break? Let's go do Before. it. Let's go piss. Let's go piss. Pee 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 pee. Where should we go? Just a. You think? Yeah. Let's get some greens and get some of that turkey. The turkey? I don't know. They got good stuff there. Can Let's get a good with meat. your psoriasis. Yeah, I can eat turkey with my psoriasis. Lean meat, greens, raw nuts. Fuck off. Yeah. Come on, bro. What do you got, Jeff? Rice, oats. All right. A top Netflix executive was 
asked to leave. Well, he's fired because he used the N word. He used it during a, a thing where like there was, they were talking about sensitive words inside, you know, certain, certain, uh, comment comedian things inside Netflix, like using that word. He was just discussing that word. He was referencing the referencing word? Referencing the word. And he got kicked he got out? Fired? That's he did it twice. Bullshit. He did it twice, though. So, so check it out. So hold on. He said, we got to be careful not to use and Something like ninja? that. The story is kind of like a little trippy, but apparently it was, yeah, talking about that, that sensitive word. So he said that word a few times. And then after that, I guess some people felt uncomfortable about it. They told HR, you know, don't do that anymore. So then he did it again at another meeting. With two black people I would, in the meeting, but he was talking. He well, was let's not hold on. Word. Let's uh, the, uh, let's get the full context. Yeah, I don't know what the story. Because if yeah, I'm not, I want to defend a dude if he's dropping m bombs mm. front of black people. That's weird. But if he was going, we you know we gotta be sure. Not God, even then, what are you doing? Right it's there? poor taste. It recounts an incident that occurred several months ago when Friedland used the N word during a meeting with Netflix public relations staff during a discussion about sensitive words. Several people told him they were offended by his use of the full word. According to Hastings I think this memo. is complete bullshit. He's not racist. He was just using the word because he was talking about the insensitive word and just saying it should not get you fucking fired. You're talking about somebody's livelihood. I know. But it doesn't make the world less racist when you t- take a guy like that who's obviously not racist for using a word. It doesn't make the world a better place. I'm, I'm not going to offend him too hard. It I says am. Fredlin again used the word a few days later in front of two black employees in Netflix Human Resource Department when they're speaking with him about the poor incident. If you have people in your company that are saying it's uncomfortable, don't say it, and it's a pretty harsh word, I yeah. think it's just, just don't say it. But okay, but, but what I'm saying is that do you deserve to have your fucking career destroyed because you're, you said a word when you're discussing that it's offensive? What yeah. are we talking about here? Because what you're saying then is, oh, I'm going to make the world a better place by getting this guy out of here because he's a racist. No. No, I'm sorry. You can say that word and not be a racist, especially when you're talking about it in context. Does context mean nothing? It's ridiculous. It's bullshit. You're talking about firing somebody. You're talking about you, you don't have a job anymore. You can't earn a living. Fuck off. This is ridiculous. Really? Yeah, I don't know if he should lose his whole f- livelihood. <laughs> but no, I also... Like, I wish there's more... Like details. I, I wish I knew the context. Yeah. I'm not getting offended until I hear the context. All I know is standing in front of two black people. You can't be that smart to be a high level executive at Netflix if you're dropping. But if he bombs, said, he non- said if he was but saying stop. But he would. Is that nonstop? Once? No. Yes. It, depending For on the context. Months, depending on the context, like say when you're talking about sensitive words. Well, we shouldn't have this word. We shouldn't have this word. And you say it out loud. But then, and but people then, are offended. Hey, but I'm then just saying it meeting, out loud. But then after meeting, two African Americans go. Listen, dude. I get we don't know from. what that meeting. I don't know what the conversation was. I know, so don't yeah. defend it. So let's just say. I will defend. So it. let's just say. This no, 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 no. I will no, let's say it. this. Let's say. Af- let's say we had a meeting in here, and you kept dropping the M bomb. And after we had two African American employees, which I do, that I've worked for me, I, I come know. up to you and go, Brian. We get your message. I know. Don't use the N word. It offends but he's us. Not you. He, but if then you're the next week, the N word. But then the next week, he goes back. Goes listen. N-word, N-word, N-word. You're like, what the yes, fuck, man? Yes, if you're dropping the N-word. But what I'm saying is if you're talking about the word being offensive, say you're teaching a class, say you're talking about it in Netflix and saying, how often do we want to hear this word? And you say, what word? And you say the word. And it's contextual. That's not, that's not being racist. It's not at all. I, it is not being racist. No, it's not being racist. And, and also, you shouldn't lose your job over it. It's a, it depends on how it's used. If, it's being, if you're calling somebody that, okay then it's really a problem. We all fucking know that. But, 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 but don't we all know, you know as white males not to use the N-word? And like, even if I had a... Well, I don't care what the meaning was, and that word was in there, I would not use that word ever. Fine, but, but at the same time, you, there are people that could be a white male or a Chinese male or whatever male and say the word in certain contexts where obviously... Over and over? If they said this is a really offensive word or they were talking about the history of the word... It's yes, you can talk about it, and it doesn't mean you're a racist. I mean, I, I okay. Think, so let me let me ask you this: When you read Huck Finn, Mark Twain's book, and the use of that word is in there, and you were reading it out loud to a class, 
and it's an American classic. And by the way, different. And by the way, different. different. It's being used the word. By the way, the the Mark Twain was against the the, you know what what basically shames completely different. Shames how bad racism was. This is a grown man who's high, uh, who's in charge. It's not different. It's It's completely different. It depends. No, it doesn't. That book was written how long ago? How long was that book written ago? But you're still no. Hold on. How long was that book written ago? In the 1800s, you're still saying it out loud. And you read a book from the 1800s, right? Yeah. So you're reading that in context. Yeah. This is a grown man at what 55. This is context too. But but he's still dropping the word out of his own words and imagination. If they were talking about, if they were talking about the word, he look. First of all, first of all, you can say that word and not be offensive and racist. I disagree. So. you can definitely say that word if you're if it's in context, but what what they're saying here is that, and we don't know the entire story, but these people confront him later, say over like, we're not over comfortable, we're not comfortable with that's like I'm Korean, right? And you say gook, but like say we're talking about gook thing, whatever, right? Yeah. And say like you hey guys, I it makes me feel uncomfortable. Okay, okay hold on, hold gook. on. So if I were to say in Vietnam, a lot of times the soldiers would refer to Vietnamese people as gooks. That's a historical fact. In the seventies. It's a historical fact. Yeah, Seventy, and I'm saying it now. Yeah, but it doesn't mean B, that I believe that that's what I would call. But B, it, let's know. say you said that, right? But and I then after funny. Chin goes, "Hey, I get your point." Yeah, will you not say that anymore? And he went, "Yeah, no problem." Tomorrow you come back. Hey, Chin, these gooks, and Chin's like, "What the fuck?" Okay. So, so in my opinion, every word is the meaning you attach to it, and every word is no, I just, the context. Not when it's a and every word, like and every word is the context you put to it. I disagree, and that's the bottom line. Not with the end. And, and if not, and if not, then then what we're doing is we're taking people who are good people, and we are demonizing them. And then then if you do that, and if you do that, then what happens to the real racist? You know, you're, you're putting everybody on the same level and you believe in punishment no, for its own sake. How, so you're how's taking a guy like level? that. You're taking a guy like that. You're taking a businessman yeah. who was dumb enough to keep using the word. Okay, so he's I don't want him in so charge of Netflix. So he to lose his job. If you're Maybe that dumb, he's yes. Not using the, he's using it in context. Over they were and dis- over. They were discussing, after offending people. They were discussing it. In context, over and so over. lose your job. Over and so over. So say one word and you lose no, your no, job. No, 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 no. You're missing they, the point. They, he didn't say one it's word. It's the second time. It's the second time. No, no. Happened. More than two, Chin. Or more than there's two. More than, there's been more instances. Well, first of all, we don't know all the details. So we're getting a little... So, so we should just be a little bit quiet. But, but, but at the end of the day, in my opinion, there is a lot of this shit that goes around where you people get fired over... Over stuff that they don't deserve. I don't know other. I don't, I don't, I don't know guy, other situations. I don't think that guy's a racist. I don't, I don't know him. I know nothing racist. about him. Exactly. I know nothing about him. Exactly. So to say but, he's not a racist, from what, you I'm have no reading, idea. what I'm reading there is that doesn't sound like he's a racist. Well, I don't know. Okay. I have no idea. Yeah. I don't well, know and, if he is or if he isn't. Yeah. All right. Neither do you. And we know he got fired for using the N word. Yeah, and I know, and, I, and also he was. It, it says it sounds like he was talking about um, uh, a f- sensitive words. Multiple That's where he times. got in trouble for. And, and, and for was saying told, the word And was told they context. were offended by it. it it's, it's from what I think, I've read I there. At this point, it just becomes a, a human being to human being. Like, hey, don't, don't say this. It, it hurts my feelings. Or, you know, whatever. So, and he continues to do it. That's bad leadership. As a right leader? Yeah, that's, as a that's leader? I think, I think we live in a time when executives in a lot of businesses fire people over very, very, um, very little. And I, and, I, and I think a lot of good people who are not racist get fired. And I'm not talking about Roseanne. I'm not talking about certain things like that. I think that there are a lot of examples where we are so sensitive about this stuff and the, the radical left is so fucking sensitive and you're not really solving a problem and making the world less racist or more fair this way. I, I just don't believe that. I don't. I don't know if Netflix trying to make it a better world. I just think like we can't have this. Like we're a $500 billion company. We cannot have this. Like we've had employees after American go, dude, quit using the N word. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what context. That's true. If you not thing. use it, absolutely. And he goes, you're got using, it. If you're using N-word. the word, if you're using the N word like that, yeah, yeah, that's that's kind of what we're yeah. saying. So if you're just not, using not, it, if you're using it, like you're saying those those N words over there or something like that. Well, yeah. Well, no, I mean, no, we'll yeah. that. But if you're in a meeting, go, hey guys, let's not use certain words like ninja. Like, and they're like, all right, hey dude, can you say the N word? Maybe don't say the actual the full thing. He goes, no problem. Next meeting. All right, let's be subset. let's not make sure we don't say and right. drop yeah. okay. and just, and so we got a problem. So he should lose his job or he's being racist because he said it. I'm not saying he's saying I'm not saying not. he's racist. Okay. I'm saying he's a little too comfortable with the word, which okay. is an issue. Okay. The two, he, if it's multiple times, then we have a problem. Then I would even if he's saying let's not use this word. And keeps dropping it yeah. over and over yeah. and African Americans are in the meeting, yeah. yes, then we got a problem. So well, he says let's that. not use this word, he uses yeah, this then word, we got a problem. And he should be fired for it. 
Uh, who, if it's multiple times, yes. You're out of your fucking mind. Who, who yes. would say that? You're out of your fucking mind. You guys who, are out of your fucking no, no, mind. No, no, Who would say, hey, guys, let, this is sensitive, so let's stop saying you know, yeah. this. Stop, and then saying yeah. it. And then African Americans who suffered from the word go, bro, don't use that. And he goes, no problem. Then the next day does that word. Okay. Do, would you want that leadership in your fucking office? I don't know, dude. I just think that at the end of the day, he's not a racist guy. But, you, but, saying you, that. but you're cool If I'm with saying that. not to use that word, then, then, and I use the word to be, be very clear about it, it doesn't make me racist. No, it's, he's, no you're he's missing the point. I'm not saying racist. That's it's, it's a poor judgment. Okay, you got, we'll just. You don't think it's poor way. judgment, B, to keep using it? I don't know. I don't know the context. No, if, if let's, say, context, let's say that in the context, context you just gave me. Yeah. No, I don't. Over and over. And black people will do quit well, okay, saying that I in our meetings over and over again. But, you know, I multiple mean, cases. Yeah, he said it twice. Well, I mean, and, after and, them coming and up to him discussing. and say, don't do, don't say this where it hurts our feelings or whatever. He should just not say it, man. I, I don't know. I don't know. The, I don't know. The, again, I do not know the details. I don't either. I don't, but I, don't I can't either. stick up for him. I know but, that. You know. I, I understand Brian's point, though. Because you're taking away certain things. If you're, if someone's saying something in context, you're accusing him of being a racist. I get that. But I'm, I think not just, I'm not accusing. No, I'm not no, no, accusing. Then why are you firing? I'm with you as well. Oh, I'm firing for his lack of fucking uh, yeah. uh, sensitivity. Yeah, no, don't uh, be stupid dude, and say when, that. If you're hurting people's feelings, yeah. I'm gonna have to let you go. If you're a leader of this company, oh, and African Americans. So you're hurting. So, so, so when you hurt people's feelings with the N so word, how about this? So, game so over. Like, said, no, no, no. You just said hurt people's feelings with the N with racist. Okay, so only certain words. The N word is a no. no yeah. for, if you're a white male, you cannot use the N word in any facet. You have not earned the right to use that word. I don't care what your HR. All I'm saying is, is that a, a man who says let's not use this word can use that. It's offensive. Or you're discussing certain words, and you yes. have the words on the board, or you're talking about what to be very clear. That then. Well, no. See, case, you're talking about something. If he's going, all right, let's not use this sure. word. That's different, right? Than saying let's not. Oh, so say you can write enter. it, but you can't say it. Well, multiple times. I think we're we're, just, we're, we're getting into real murky yeah, water. This one's not that murky to me. This one, when black people in your HR meeting go, dude, let's not use the N-word. That please. to me is important. And then he obviously, then he, well, if, no, if you're I just got saying black it's all employees good. who are saying, don't use the word, period, or don't even say it out loud when you're saying don't, then I'd be like, ooh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And he kept doing That's it, Pete. Yeah, yeah, is that not an issue? I know. I got, I, I don't know the context. I don't know the context. I think people are just. I, just, I, th- I think people are sensitive. I think is. people are unsensitive yeah. for the, sure. The political, the political, the public square is just insane. But right we now. can't, we can't chalk that up. And go, oh my god, everyone's so sensitive every time. You and I have always talked every about. Time. You and I talk about this environment. It, it, there is unforgiving in every, in so many ways. Like you can, you can say one thing innocently and lose your fucking career. We know that. I think, if and it that's was just what that I worry one about. Time, yeah. I think you'd be good. Yeah. I have to yeah. read more. I, I think I think this I read more. I, I think it. this doesn't get brought up if he was in that meeting and dropped it, and then the African Americans yeah. came up. We're like, dude, don't use that. Yep. Went, Shit, my bad. See, I I I don't and know. And if you got fired I, by for the way, one time, then, then I would be like, yeah. That's by the way, good. I don't know about that. I think I think a lot of corporate America is is just insanely sensitive about that. The James Dan, though, James Dan, James Danmore, who wrote an article, who wrote a an internal memo because he was asked to basically about trying to figure out why more women are not in um, computer programming. And he There's cited, he cited a whole bunch yeah. of really interesting scientific reasons that are really vetted. And he just cited other science. He got fired for that. Yeah, well, he was making, you know, it's like, whoa, you, whoa, yeah. whoa, you know, whoa. He's not saying women shouldn't be allowed. He was giving scientific reasons, the science and, and presenting it internally. And he got fired. Okay. This is happening all the time. Let be careful, cause you're fucking next. Mm, don't because if, you're next. Just don't use the N word, and you should be. Don't right. you just be careful of all your language, not just the N word. Nah, all all your right. language, bro. No, everyone's all so your sensitive. Oh god, they are. Everyone's losing jobs. They are, dude. Oh, like Roseanne for being not racist. Just Roseanne. No, you should lose no, your fucking you know, job. You should do some reading, my friend. I do read. No, you don't. You're too involved. No, in you it. don't, bro. You don't do reading. Yeah, I you do. should take a look at how crazy oh, my god. fucking human resources no, has gotten I've, across I've the board. I've listened to Peterson talk on all the podcasts, just like you have. I'm not talking about just Peterson. I've been reading about, about this way before Peterson. Give me a little I, I, more I know you have friend. Red B. You're, I'm telling you, you're so devolved no, in you're this world. No, you're acting like you're, you're, you're defending. Be careful how, how you defend I cannot defend Americans. a white Be careful guy how you N-word. defend we'll corporate never America. Defend that. De- be careful how you defend corporate America. You're defending corporate. I'm not defending corporate America. No, you I, I'm are. A, I'm agreeing with Netflix. He should lose his job. Okay. Oh, he should? Yes. And you know all the details. Do you? Good for you. Do you? No, I just said that. I did but too. He oh, he's yeah. just saying, according to this, what we have right now in front of us, 
Like, I think we agree that if you fucked up Let's once, just move on. I, 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 this kind of shit drives me up a fucking wall. Let's move on. Because we keep right. having these arguments and it makes me nuts. It's fucking right. ridiculous. We all know right. the difference between a racist and a non-racist. All of us do. Yeah, right? no shit. Yeah. Do you so know, let's, so let's worry so, about... So let's what worry is about, he? Let's worry about real racists, okay, guys? Let's worry no, about I'm not real saying How do we know he's not, I'm not, saying, I'm not saying he's racist. Exactly. How do you know he's not? Look, make sure you know before you fire somebody. Dumb for saying that. Anyways, you know? moving on. Yeah. All right, You're so, next. You're next. I'm not. Everybody is. All right. Anthony Bourdain, they did a toxicology report, and apparently he had no drugs and no alcohol in his system. No, he had a shitload of alcohol. This he is said off. no. Really? This is off. He had a shitload of alcohol. That's not what I read. Tell me. He had a shitload of alcohol. Not what it says here? I know. What is this source? How, when did this come out? Uh, yesterday. Uh, go to uh, Google Anthony Bourdain alcohol and system. Dead. No trace of alcohol, it says. It says the prosecutor. I know on CNN. Yeah, this one says... Well, okay... So Washington Times, I don't know how reputable they are, but pretty, pretty reputable. They say no narcotics or alcohol in the system when he died. Then they're, this I mean, one pretty reputable. NECN says Bourdain had alcohol in the system at time of death. So there's mixed reports then. And then Good Morning America this morning said he had alcohol. No narcotic, no, no drugs. Narcotics. No drugs. The thing is, even alcohol though, you know, it's like he still killed himself. You know, it's so strange. I bet you he wouldn't know why he did it. You know, a lot of times it's like, you don't Hold even on, know I your see own motives. See that? Had yeah. alcohol, no narcotics. That's in Chicago. That's NBC. You yeah, know, so maybe French, we don't have the, the French the facts coroner yet. had a different thing, right? Yeah. So the French coroner says, or the French, French toxicology reports said that he had nothing in his system. Uh, most of it I heard too. See, no drugs or alcohol. That's what yeah. I heard off the bat. And then this morning when I woke up, they said he had like a crazy amount of alcohol. Not that it matters. Cause if you're going to kill yourself, you're going to fucking get pretty yeah, gnarly. Exactly. You can't blame anybody. It's just, it is what it is. But then his girl posted a picture of her with a dude, yeah? Dude, you know, some, somebody, somebody emailed Somewhere. me who I've had contact with in the past, and he's had suicidal issues. And you know what he said? He said to me, he goes, he said, like, because I, I was talking about it, like being on fire. And he goes, it's not really like that, he said. Being on fire? Like, I was like, so maybe, Depression? maybe, yeah, like, you know, some people can't take it. And he said, he goes, have you ever been in a sauna? He goes, you ever been in a sauna and you get to a point where you're, where you're not able to take the heat and you're going to panic. He goes, for me, it felt like that, but that was my existence and there was nowhere to, there was no yeah, escape. never happy. And I was like, fuck, I put that in context. I was like, you know, how you, you know, how you ever been in a sauna where it's so hot. You're like, I gotta get out of here. I'm going to fucking die. Or I did a sweat lodge one time. Mm. Like that That's idea, weird that, that, when I heard that, I was like, it's so unbearable that the only way out is, you know, I can understand unbearable. Part. I mean, that's mental uh, illness. Sonic. That might be that might be depression for some people. Well, obviously it is. And then something set them off with a yeah. girl or something like that. That's, but it, but they say it's a, like they say this, 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 girl. this psychiatrist is saying that it's a, the scary thing is that suicide is a rational decision, right? So you you're like there and you go, I can't get out. I can't get it. I can't I can't go anywhere else. It's the only way. It's to the only the way out. Fuck. Yeah. Which is and they also say um. If you do feel that way, like the best thing you can do from what I've talked to just certain people who hit me up uh, is talk to somebody, like talk to the person. Oh, man. yeah. Talk to them. That's talk what to everyone them, says. Yeah. No drugs. Just talk to them. Just, you know. Medication helps too, though. Yeah. Medication sure. saves a lot of lives. I believe that. I believe that Prozac and things like that do. It can, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I have one more sad one. I don't know if you guys, we talked about this recently to Pantera, the only group that I didn't we get to see. We talked about it? Remember, I was, we were talking about favorite heavy metal bands or oh, who yes. I saw in concert. Yes. And Pantera is the only one that I didn't get to ca catch in concert. Well, you're not seeing them anymore. Out of my favorite, metal, or favorite metal bands. Yeah, I've seen them now. So, the yeah, the drummer died. He's only at 54. Well, you know. His I, brother died, too. He was murdered. His brother died back, Daryl. Damn. But he died how? Some crazy military guy just shot him in the head during a show. What? And what? Matt Brown, the fighter, was there. During that show, what yeah. a military dude just like so PTSD. I guess like PTSD something or just crazy or just crazy PTSD. He Who shot him in the military. fucking face Oof. at a concert at the concert. Yeah, so two God. brothers died tragically. How did he die? Drug overdose. They don't know for a fact. They they think it's a heart attack. A massive. Did I tell you, my doctor goes. Uh, my doctor. Did I tell you this? He goes through my heart arterial branch. No, and he goes. Um, 
I go, what are you doing? He goes, I'm just looking for compromises in your arterial ranch. I go, what do you mean? He goes, you can have everything could be perfect, cholesterol and everything else. You just drop that, right? Because you have a compromise. You have a, uh, like a little thing. Valve. And he, it's called the widow maker. And he goes, mm. um, he goes, between 45 and 55, you're going to lose some friends this way. And I was like, Fuck. I had a buddy who had a scare from that recently. Really? Yeah, super scary. I know. Passed out and then he went there and they said that was the. Do I know him? Yes. How do you treat yourself for it then? You Oof. get checked. So you can do a couple of things. One, long flights. You can, can do it. Fuck you too with that. Yep. Yep. You can do. Uh, and now I've been asked to do this. You take, you drink a dye and they can take a 3D image of your heart. They can see your heart. They can see everything. They can see all the plaque, everything. Like, like literally, a, literally a 3D image. And you can get exactly how much plaque you have in your valves, if there's anything like that or anything. And they and my friends as doctors always ask me to do it. I haven't done it yet. Oh, jeez. Yeah, do it, it costs I'd you like 900 it. bucks. It'd be worth it, though. And yeah. the other thing to do is I think you can do certain certain things with sonic sound. But Where did he die, Jen? Where? At his house? Uh, no, yeah, his house in Las Vegas. Fuck, man. He just died of a heart attack, yeah. yeah. They think. Nothing's official yet. It's probably... My friend JR rough. died like that. He died at 46, 45. Just died driving his car in great shape. Worked out time. all the time. Those drummers are usually in pretty good shape. Yeah. Travis Barker, I mean, I know a lot of top professional athletes. Travis is probably the best shaped person I know. Vinny Paul is on the bigger side most of his Still, life. but the cardio to yeah, play yeah. those drums like For that sure. is beast. He's the, one of the best drummers I've heard. Really? Double bass. Really? Double bass, you know, yeah. with the feet. It's awesome. You watch those dudes have been playing forever. It's crazy. Were you sad, Jen, when he went? Yeah, I'm sad. Well, well this kid from the Goldbergs died, Jackson O'Dell. I, I was going to ask if you knew him. I didn't know him. Oh, okay. You ever saw him? Did he have a small role on there? I don't know, buddy. Fuck, man. What did he die from? Was it suicide? It might have been. Fuck. He, he was, was in a sober young, right? living house. So oh, I think he had a lot of issues yeah. in the past. Which 20. I that is so young. God damn. You and I have kids. We know what that would be like. Oh, my God. You know, sometimes, uh, I think it was like with Sean Penn's brother, Chris Penn, when you do a lot of cocaine, your heart expands, apparently, or it, it weakens your heart, and you can have a heart attack later on. Mm. Cocaine is the drug of choice these days for these kids. Dude, how about how about how about in, what he's on? Hey, how about I'm in Portland, and a guy goes, <laughs> me and Steve here are talking to this dude. These kind of guys, one guy's got like tattoos all over his body with these huge ears with the plates in it, and I'm all right. And another guy's just loud and big, and he's like, he goes, man, we're going to go do cocaine. And I go, oh, I go, oh, that's loud you said that. And he goes, yeah. the people? He goes, dude, it's crazy here, though. The shit we're getting here is Ugh. fire. It's fire. I go, is that, what do you mean, like speed? He goes, no, 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 it's fucking amazing. I don't know what's going on, but the shit we're going, so we're going to go do that shit if you guys want to come. I was like, I, I got to wake desire. up. I have zero desire to fuck yeah, with Yeah, I don't want to fuck with my heart, but thank you so much. You've never done that, Jenna? Huh? Nah. Hey, you man. have? <laughs> no. Of course he has. Look at him. Oh, wow. Listen, like dude, you're under oath or I'll something. I'll bet you that's what he does on the weekends. Listen, oh, hell no. no you, that's you sure. of all people, Kratom boy, stay away from blow. I have no desire to I'll touch it. it. Bro, I'm <laughs> telling you, it. look at me right no, now. No, no, I like pills. I don't like hey, hey, sniffers. Hey, listen up. I promise you. Listen up. Not cocaine. Listen up. <laughs> listen the it. fuck you up. Have I done it? it? Yeah. Listen up, and I'm not a drug guy. How about chiz? Well, hey, let me put it this way. Let me Chid's put it this way. obviously done a bunch of blow. I think we're starting Use to figure all. out what he does. I think we're starting to figure out what he does on the weekend. Look at me right now. Watch now, you know I'm not a drug guy, right? I can say no. When, I, when that guy goes, it's really good blow in Portland, I had to take a minute. You want to do it? I had to take a minute. Because when people that look at me, I almost want you to, I want to go get some pure shit just because you... Are you up you, all night? Now you just feel like one million dollars. Hey, is, is Portland where uh, that weird uh, burlesque place is at? Sure is. Did you guys go or no? Didn't go to the Voodoo Donuts and I didn't go to the bur oh, wow. burlesque thing. And now that you mention it, I'm pissed I didn't go. I think that's, <laughs> that's where it was. Or was there. it in Vancouver? Nope, it's Portland for sure. It was it's Portland. Portland. Voodoo Donuts, bro. God damn it, it's Portland. See what happens when you don't go together? Fuck. We, I, was, I said to Brennan, I go, I wish we could just do the road together. Hey, listen to this. Um, don't do it. But I'm tempted for you just to try a couple of lines. I'd have to get it from like a legit fucking source. Well, yeah, obviously, but but I'm and I'm sure that it's out there. But and of course, I don't. I'm not saying you should do this, but I have this morbid desire for you just just so like you can it. understand 
I, but I would never do that to you because I'm afraid you would be like, oh, wait a minute. It's an expensive get habit, too. Get the fuck too, out yeah? of my way. Isn't it expensive? You got money. That's the yeah. problem. I'm afraid now that you guys talk about it, people are going to want to send you stuff. So be careful about send that. Send me Coke? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm sure. Send mail? Do not send no, no, no. me blow. At shows and no, stuff. Cocaine's say. not good. No, please, yeah. dude. Don't do Please, cocaine. when I'm in Oklahoma <laughs> where there's nothing to do, bring blow oh, to the show. Please don't, don't do, do cocaine. That. No, I'm just kidding. And nothing, and don't do it with speed. The problem is a lot of times it's cut with speed. I don't. Definitely cut with laxatives. I like uppers. You're going to poo. I don't like uppers. Huh? I don't like uppers. <laughs> what else you got? You Jim? don't know what you're, bro. You don't know what you're missing? You know how sometimes it is you drink. a popular Okay, drug. you ever drink coffee and feel like, damn, I feel oh, like, yeah. like the day is yeah, here. Yeah, nice. I want you to fucking <laughs> quadruple that Dude, and then add another four times to it. You're a bad friend trying to give me to do coke. <laughs> no, I'm bro. not. I'm saying don't do it, but I'm saying, do it. Woo! That's how you feel. But you're saying do it. There's a there's a joke, and I can't remember who said. It, I said, "Problem with doing blows, you'll sit there with your friend and you'll start a business together, <laughs> and and you'll be serious about it. Let's sell candles. Why the fuck aren't they selling candles? When was the last time you were at a candle shop? Exactly, dude. Why don't we come up with wax? I got a friend who can make wax. How much does it cost to make wax? Before you know it, you're running out of business plans. This makes me want to do it. Then you're like this. You're like you're my friend. I did blow one time there. I'll say it with my neighbor. She was like, she was doing blow. And I was like, I was young. And I was like, how old? A little, I don't know. I was probably 49. No, I was young. I was probably um, like 31 or something. And she, uh, and she was there and she was my neighbor and she was kind of hot, but not at all. And then she looked at me and she goes, you're so cool. And I go, thanks. And she was already high. And I go, <laughs> and I was like, damn. And the music was playing. She goes, oh, good how time. good is that? I go, yeah. Aren't you happy we're neighbors? And I was like, Ah, I started making out oh, her and I pulled out my coke dick and and then we fucked. Is, is it hard to fuck on coke? It is. Yeah. It is. But this stuff was pure and my dick could have cut a diamond. Doesn't care. I'm saying a lot of stuff right now, but I'm just I'm having a coke flashback right now. <laughs> don't do blow. I've not you've done had, a lot. You had of some it. good times with it, huh? I don't know. You sure, don't he, talk about he doesn't want to. Talk she about acts it. like he's working for a corporation or some shit. I talk about everything. I don't do cocaine anymore, and I don't recommend it. Um, it's been it's many, many years, yeah, and I've only done it a handful of times. That's the truth. But Chin, you've been on it every good. day still. I went back on it, but I don't take as much, and I, I honestly want to do less now because I want to try CBD, something for back pain. CBD. So what? CBD pills. Yeah. So Sarah gave me like one of. Where's a, your back pain? CBD pills. Right. Your here. glutes. Can I show you some exercises right that glutes. changed my right life? Oh, God. I got a lot of people giving me information, too, but like yeah. it's in your head. CBD is no. really good. Or do some exercises for That's your That's what I'm back. saying. They're saying that it really helped me. your brain is tricking your body to, to think, think it's just a real pain. pain. I've, I've had uh, three people do it with real back, back pain, and it worked, and it worked for me, so yeah. I'm a big believer. Really it's bulging it's, it's Lauren, Lauren or, Landown shit. Lauren or Landown. The, oh, hey, Lauren, also get off the sauce. Um, or it's a bulging disc. And you got real problems. There's I, that. I do have, right. I do have That's something. Right. I forgot what it's called. There's that. Not a bulging disc, I hope not. You would know. Oh. If it's have real. Have you ever had that? Uh, no. But you will fucking Can you know. fix that? A bulging disc? No, not with therapy or anything? I don't think so. Really? If what about traction? If, if it's at, that out, you know what I'm saying? You're going to have to yeah. go in there. And, especially if it's pinching a nerve. Oh. You can do all the fucking glute raises you want. Mm. Yeah, but this helped me. What else you got, Jen? All right, the next one is this at a luxury lodge in the reception area, and what? this is in South Africa. A pack of hyenas, fourteen hyenas, killed a kudu. If you guys know what kudus are, I'd like to see this. Was that so, like a little deer? Yeah, no, nah, it's a big. It's like deer. a big, big a deer with horns. Kudu is a big, delicious. Deer. So this is their lodge, and this is 14? where people. This is where people hang out. Holy fuck! But this hyenas, is the middle of the night. So they got it early, early in the morning. That's when the hyenas got them. So this is them walking to the lodge. Do they know what they're about to hit? They got guns yeah. Or? They see blood everywhere. So why isn't this thing expanding? They probably thought someone died. Look see all the this. blood. Holy fuck! It, it looks like a oh, looks like a straight what? murder scene. Oh, yeah. oh my and god! And there's a kudu in right in the middle of the lodge, the reception area. How do they know it was fourteen hyenas? I guess they saw it as they got there, and then they all took off. But then, then, oh, so they couldn't eat it because they took off. Yeah, because they saw now the human beings like fucking haters. There's some well, pictures. Oh my this. god, that's a serious kill. Now, would you uh, would you eat some of that kudu? I, I I don't know what it is. It's like a big deer. Yeah, it's a delicious deer. Dude, how fucking gnarly are hyenas? Yeah, they don't fuck around. And they eat your ass first. How, can you zoom in on that chin? How much do they eat of that? It's not, oh, there it was. Oh, they kind of fucked them up. Yeah, the top part for sure. Took the skin off. Jesus Christ. But this I is almost, where people I'd almost let them eat it, hang right? out. 
Yeah, I'd let him finish, right? Get him, let him get full. I would let him finish him. I really get these and guys out of here. And then scurry him off. Especially when no one's in there. God, well, imagine. It's, not it's a heavy. bad look for the, for the... No, they heard this huge like commotion. Animals going crazy. They had to run by and check it look out. Look how dirty. Look at the entrails. Look at the shit. Ugh. And all the paw prints. Like they're, not, they're very sloppy Dude, look at all the paw prints. Whoa, those look are real paw prints. Look at all the prints. blood. They're sloppy. It's ears. a bad look for the resort, huh? Sorry, kudo hazard. Uh, sorry, kudo. Maybe use the back exit. We had fourteen hyenas eat a fucking kudo live. So sorry, this is, we don't apologize. Sorry about the kudo blood. Make sure you step around the kudo shit yeah. as he's getting eaten alive. He shit his pants. There are entrails. If you smell blood and poo, it's just death. It's just kudo death. Don't worry, we'll give you a comp take for two free drinks if you can get over the shit. I'll eat that kudo though. I don't Although know. you don't want to eat from hyenas because hyenas have rotten mouths. Oh, oh my god, they eat a lot of carry Dude, on. Hyenas are. Fucking yeah, gnarly. They got terrible mouths. Bad breath. That's in Africa? <laughs> of yeah. course it's in yep. Africa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not happening in San Diego. No. What else you got, Jen? All right. This is, uh, I think, Variety reported that Johnny Depp uses an earpiece. He pays an audio engineer to feed him his lines through an earpiece because he can't memorize all the lines. That's a report by Variety. However, Johnny Depp says... Mm. That so. the reason he uses it is because he does this. This is his quote. I've got bagpipes, a baby crying, and bombs going off over the earpiece. He says that it creates truth. So when he's in a scene where he wants to look, you know, like he's really focused or whatever, he has this stuff playing in his ear to get him to that moment, to that, to that yeah, moment. Yeah, he's right. Hey, I don't give a fuck what he uses. <laughs> I agree. Johnny, oh, he's only been doing it forever yeah. at one of the highest levels of all time. Yeah. Uh, and even if he did, someone feeding him lines. Okay, for you guys, Hayden, put that earpiece in and uh, we'll feed you the same lines. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let me see you pull this off. Exactly. Wow. Let me exactly. see you do fucking Edward scissor hands with that thing in your ear. Correct. Fuck off. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Correct. I let, mean, let me see let whatever me see, your method. Let me see is. you do Willy Wonka and fucking play yeah. that guy and with the earpiece. Yeah, that's you fucking right. schmuck. That's right. It, that's exactly right. Like it doesn't matter. Like you, you've done some acting. You have an appreciation of how hard. Oh that my is. God, I don't know how you guys memorize lines. It's that's not even about. It's not about the lines. That's a good example. It's more about what he said. It's about the behavior. It's about the character. It's about your 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 the emotion behind the lines. Right. Again, I can say something and, and you don't feel it. I can Then I can just look at you and you feel something. Try memorizing an hour and 20 of stand-up, Jen. That's what I'm saying. Well, you, you guys developed that. You guys created those lines. Yeah. I'm saying when you guys do acting stuff, I don't know how you guys memorize these pages and pages you're, you're of just, lines. Because what is the intention behind the line? What are you doing? And then that You also get the script place. for a while. Yeah. So if you keep yeah. going over it, you remember true. it. Yeah. And you run lines beforehand. <laughs> is that it? We're Johnny Depp fans, obviously. Yeah. You want one more or are you good? Yeah. One more. All right. Saudi Arabia finally ends its ban on women drivers. I lived there and my mother couldn't drive. So Makes sense though. That's drive. crazy. There's been a lot of accidents. <laughs> we said Saudi Arabia. Hey. Accidents go up 500%. <laughs> <laughs> Sir. Chin, um, why do you think Asians get a bad rap when it comes to driving? Well, first of all, we have smaller eyes. There's number one. Number two, we're coming from Asia. It's just different. I don't think that smaller eyes allow you to see less. No, I mean, that's where the stereotype came oh. from. And then plus, I have seen my parents, my mom driving. It's terrible. I get right? it. Yeah. My they dad's be, great. They might be my a little more careful. Great. Way too careful. They're a little cautious, yeah. The, the older generation. Super the younger scared. generation. Like, like, there's no Asian uh, NASCAR F1 for no. racers. But I feel like all that stuff is out the out window there, now with the younger generations of everybody. Like, you know, it used to be when I was growing up, you, Indian people from India... We're just typically not that athletic, not that, you know. And now I do my shows and well, but now I do my athletic? shows. Athletic? People from India and Pakistan come up <laughs> and they're just still, they're jacked. Still be the case. How well, many being jacks not athletic? How many well, just I mean tough. How many well, uh how many it's not um, athletic? Yeah, that's true. How many uh, how many gold medals? How many medals did India win in the last Olympics? None, right? Unless there's cricket. Well, I don't know. Let's Unless see. there's cricket, they win in shit. Isn't that interesting? A billion people and they there's kill, not a whole they lot kill of metal being won. Yeah, but how many, how many are brilliant computer programmers now? Oh, fuck There's yeah. a shitload of them. Hell yeah. A lot of innovation. They, they don't really emphasize sports. It's just sports there, right? are not, you know, as come 50 medals. Yeah, then they will. They, well, no, it's just plan to win 24. 50. So far, India has, has only won 28 medals in the 24 in Olympic 24 Games. In 24 Olympic Games. Wow. So 24. Not a lot. So not a lot. Not a lot. So nothing in the last one then, right? What? 2016. India national field hockey team. Well, is that, so they want bronze and silver. 
in 2016. In what? But they. But I don't think so they're really games. focused. Like wrestling. Like yeah, wrestling. Know. Wrestling and gymnastics. Well, wrestling because in the Sikh in the Punjab, wrestling is a big thing among the Sikhs. You got some good wrestlers there. Was the Olympics 2017? It was yeah. right. Because there, there is a tradition. I guarantee that those guys are probably Sikhs. Alpine skiing, three gold. Wow, Damn. Alpine skiing. Ten medals in Alpine skiing. Indian Alpine gold. skiing. Snowboarding. India, we should go to India, man. God, there's so much to see in India. Oh, my God. In the oh, sorry. North. This what? is Special Olympics. Brendan, don't fucking I'm not doing it. Laugh, man. Hold you're on, the Jen. one. Hold on, Jen. I in, Google's in, 2017. Bro, your Googling skills. I, I know. Mean, this is where I gotta draw the line. <laughs> I, so in hold on. India in the special in the Special Olympics won Alpine skin? Yeah. I don't get this. That they makes won 37. Sense. You know what? That makes sense. They won 37 gold in Special Olympics. I don't know. I Apparently they're spe- they're they're focusing on the Special Olympics instead of the regular Olympics. Well, the, in, in the World Winter Games, they won 37 goals. Maybe they're pulling a ringer. What does that mean? It means they have a regular dude in the Special Olympics. Oh, God, that'd be fucked up. Yeah. All well, right, well. That. There you have it, kids. Almost sold out for Tally Hall, July just, 19th. Just, buddy. Just, uh, but I was confused. It's only Thursday, Friday. Thursday, Friday. I don't know why I thought Saturday, too. Nope, just, just Thursday, Thursday Friday. Friday. Friday, we shoot the uh, special. Thursday, one show. Thursday, one Friday, show. Friday, two shows. Friday, show, two shows. Then I take a long break, buddy. Oh, well, they start your show, right? Yeah. Come see me in Syracuse. Come see me in Tampa first, July 6th and 7. It's next week, Friday, Saturday. It is. And then come see me at the Tampa Improv. And then come see me um, Wait, the next weekend Sy- in Syracuse. Okay. July, um, 14th. probably 14, 15, something like that. All right, whatever that Friday, Saturday is. Yeah. No, it's 13, 14. 13, 13 14. July 13, 14. Syracuse. And- oh, and I'll be at Gotham Comedy Club July 12th. How about that? Adding a show. Just one night? Thursday, yeah. Just to get up to s- speed. So you're going to go into... Oh, the, so you're going to fly into New York City, then, then take a train to Syracuse? No, I'll fly to Syracuse. Train to seven hours. Fly there the next day. Not too bad. Yeah. Stay at an Airbnb or something up there. You know what I'm saying, buddy? The hotel's right across the street. Is it's it? A, it's a lot. You know the A-Lofts? Yeah. That's all there was. Hey, you'll have fun up there. Uh, I'm in Cherokee Casino July 7th. Come laugh with me. <laughs> Our stand-up, and then uh, stick around for the fights, UFC 226. The ticket gets you into the comedy show. And the fights. That thing's almost sold out. Jesus. July 7th, Cherokee Casinos. And then after that, I'm in Spokane, Washington. Spokane is, when is that, Jim? The, the following, same dates as you. Was that the 12th through the 14th? I'll look it up right now. Oh, you're doing uh, Spokane. 12th through the 14th, Spokane. Wow. July 12th. Three days. Three. Yeah, Thursday, nice. Friday, Saturday. There you go. Spokane, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, July 12th through the 14th. And then Austin, Cap City. Those tickets just oh, went on sale. All those... All the so shows jealous. are almost sold out already. So jealous. Uh, that's August second through the fourth. First time at Cap Cities. Wow. Get you some tfk dot com for Brian and myself, and we'll see you guys in Chicago together. Peace. If we don't kill each other, this is the Fire Kid. We're out.